Thank you. 
Yo! What's going on, gamers? Here we are. A wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Yep. I'm not a wizard, though, so I guess I can't really use that excuse. So there is that. But never mind. We're in the mix. Yeah, Jester is... Uh, he has the disease. And honestly, it feels bad. But he did get pips from, uh, from the weekly, I think. So there is that. No more Saros. I believe we're not playing Saros today. I'm just going to mess around on my Zero to Hero account. And just do some random farming, I think. But yeah, it's not going to be uh, Saros today. Yeah. Six hour rifting stream today. Everyone really appreciates it. Yeah, somehow I don't think so. We're not doing that. Man, you know, it really does never end. I'm playing too many games at this point, guys, because we've got... I want to play the World of Warcraft Season 4 PTR and learn the new keys. I've got to push keys on live. We've got a Mythic Reclear coming up. We've got to do Sarah CM. I've got to do Zero to Hero. Classic WoW Season of Discovery Phase 3 is coming out next week on Thursday evening, I believe. Um, so I've got to grind that and uh, level up there. It's actually insane. There is way too much content. 150 Astral Acclaim for Return of Season 2. Yeah, I guess I better actually do that, huh? Uh, because if we don't do that, that's kind of trolling, to be honest. That's, I mean, 150 Astral Acclaim is just straight up, like, what? Is that 15 gold? I think one Astral Acclaim is what? About 10 silver? I, maybe it's even more than that, actually. You know what's actually really funny? The hole in the t-shirt? Oh, there is. There's multiple holes in my t-shirt. You know, this is actually really funny, guys. Um, I, I don't know why people do this. Check this out, guys. I got this YouTube comment. And it's one guy, and he just said, Astral Acclaim is nearly worthless, Lamau. Yeah. Seriously. Um, and I didn't actually, resp I didn't respond to that comment because I feel like it would just, it wouldn't be good. You know, it, it wouldn't be, uh healthy for me to do that in mentally, right? I, I don't want to go there, right? I don't want to be involved in that stuff. But I just, I don't understand. I, <laughs> tr truth be told, guys, I don't understand. Straight to gold, Astral Acclaim is 285. Um, nah, it's better than that. There's no shot. Um, yeah, I'm on the page now. So Mystic Coin, you get 18 silver per Acclaim. That's very nice, actually. A uh, bag of coins is 16 silver per acclaim. Laurels is 10 silver per acclaim. Heavy crafting bag is 882 per astral acclaim. I guess the black line mastery coffer actually sucks uh, because they nerfed that really hard. So that's not very good anymore. Uh, but yeah. And then the bag of coins after all of that, after all of that, they actually nerfed this a little bit. It was 30. Then they nerfed it down to um, 35. Now that's 285. But there it is. Man, the large crafting bag really is awful, isn't it? What the hell? 41 silver? That's actually insane. Yeah, I guess the legendary stuff is also really good. Uh, and yeah, if you're looking at the gem prices... Yeah, Mystic... People always think that Mystic Clovers are actually really good. And they are because they're convenient and you can skip the gambling. But they're actually one of the more expensive things. Because it's 60 acclaim per clover, which is actually relatively expensive. Um, if you're looking to get that stuff. Value decreases after you bought all the big value stuff. And yeah, you'll I guess you'll eventually get there, but I mean still, like one acclaim being 285 is pretty good. And it will take you a while to get through all of it, right? It's not gonna be instantaneous. It's very confusing trying to figure out how to get ascended items when you start the game, so Astral Claim is good for that. Yeah, it is very good for that, that's for sure. That's very true. Oh oh wait, I have the non-annoying candy corn gobbler. That's actually insane. That's such a huge upgrade. What the hell? Let's go. Let's go. Raids are how you get ascended items? I mean, raids are definitely a pretty good way to do it, that's for sure. There's a lot of red gamers here. Raids are a good way for that. But to be honest, I think this is what... I mean, I understand why people focus on it, but 
I actually don't really value Ascended items that highly, to be honest. Outside of, like, just wanting to... Kind of almost like the progression completionist style thing. It's interesting. Like, I, I really learned this when I was playing through the Zero to Hero. Is that Ascended gear was really not that relevant, uh, to be honest. You don't really need to worry about it. I spent a lot of time at the start of the Zero to Hero kind of getting my Ascended gear for free. Uh, rather than worrying about going for it as quickly as possible. And kind of investing a lot of time and gold into it. I'd mostly skipped it for a while. I only went for Ascended Gear when I wanted to start doing Fractals. And you can still do like Tier 1 and Tier 2 with just a, a couple of pieces here and there and it was fine. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, Icebridge Saga 5, Blue Shards, Ascended is the most accessible path for complete noobs. I actually think that... What I really value in gearing methods, and I think this is one of the things that causes players to uh, have a little bit of trouble with Gear Wars 2. So, you guys have seen the videos, right? The videos always say stuff like, aha, okay, if you want to get Ascended gear, do these seven different things. And I think that's actually, it's a bit much, honestly, if you're a new player, right? You're thinking like, what the hell is going on here? Like, this is, this is out of control. And I think it's actually really nice... Oh shit, we got like a full guild over here. What the fuck? And I think it's really nice to actually have uh, kind of a, a a thing that you can just do. And that one thing will do everything for you. Because basically, if you just do strike missions, um, you can basically get full ascended very easily by doing that. You know, you'll get full ascended armor and weapons and you get the trinkets too, which I think is pretty good. That's a... Uh, Quite high tier, if you ask me. Um, complaining when you technically finish three months worth of login uh, in one month. Just grind one month and do something else in the other two. It's actually very interesting, actually, um, uh, Tough Rum. Like, this is a fascinating trend. Maybe this maybe this is another video, actually. Uh, I feel like all MMOs have gone this direction now. Like, even WoW has given in. Like, WoW, I think, was clinging on for the longest, trying to be an MMO. Like, WoW, for historically, wanted to be the game that you play every day. That like, you... You only play WoW. If you're a WoW player, you log into WoW every single day and you play WoW every day, yeah? Like, that was... I think that was what they were trying to go for. For a long time. Even WoW doesn't do that anymore. I think game... All MMOs, modern MMOs, they are designed to make you stop playing them. And I mean that in an interesting way, actually. It's, it's not a criticism. It's more of an observation in this case. Like, I think Guild Wars 2 is... is it basically is saying, yeah, do all this, then log out. Right? I think WoW does that too. WoW says, do your weekly keys, do your weekly raid, then log out if you want to. Um, and once you've got enough, you know, once you've done enough keys, log out for the rest of the season. Once you've cleared the raid, yeah, come back next season. You're done. Get all the skins, unlock all the shit, right? Like, you know, do all the quests, do all the story, then log out and come back. The game is very much designed that way. I think Guild Wars 2 is as well. Guild Wars 2 is saying, yeah, you know, do all this stuff, play through the story, do the new content, log out. Be all of these, do this stuff, the special, and come back later. Uh, it's, I think it's very intentional. And now I'm crying in discounted 32 slot bag FOMO. Yeah, I, I guess if you spent all those, that definitely feels bad. But I mean, hey, it's, uh, you know, you can grind some more out, I guess. Boom, easy. Whoa, 200 world experience, guys? That's insane. Let's go. Because their audience got uh, older and got a life to attend to. I think that's probably part of it. But I think it's just... Um, I think it's a little bit more than that. I think that it's just the way the landscape of games has changed. I think people don't want to play just one game anymore. So I think it's, it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Uh, I, I do think people are, especially MMO players, are older and have more life responsibilities. But I also think just the way that people engage with games is fundamentally different too. Have they fixed the JP and stuff in dry top silverways? Count for the bonus vents? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Well, I think what's very interesting actually with... Um, What's, what's very interesting with the kind of, um, I couldn't keep up, is that, that, that that's, that's very interesting to me, um, because I'm not entirely sure what people mean with, I can't keep up. 
I think this is something that I find very interesting regarding how people, what people like about Guild Wars 2. Um, because I think something that people like about Guild Wars 2 is that you can actually finish the game, right? Like, the game, once you've finished it, it's actually finished forever, right? And you never have to do anything ever again. It's actually somewhat similar to a single player experience in that way. Um, whereas I think your kind of conventional MMO, I think one of the really big attractors of it is that, um, uh, is that it's never over, right? Like the game continuously moves on. It's very interesting to see this perspective because personally, I actually like a game that is infinite. I want an infinite game. Um, that's why I like MMOs. It's why I don't like, I don't play single player games nearly as much as multiplayer because I really like the idea of the infinite game, not a finite game. I don't want the game to be over. But I think that, um, one thing that I think many players actually found very attractive about Guild Wars 2 is the game ends. It's, it's finished after a certain point. Like, you, you're done. You're done with your account. Which I think is quite interesting. The Vault made Guild Wars 2 a bit more login every day, kind of the uh, opposite direction. Uh, yes and no, though. Like, it made, it says login every day until you've got all of this stuff, right? And and, and then, then logging in every day is, like, way less relevant. And well, there already were dailies that people liked doing, you know, especially the PvP in World Bus as well was. Isn't that a bad uh, game model? It depends, it depends what you mean by that. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say so. Um... I think it's not the best model for retaining veteran players, I guess, to just for shorthand players like me. In fact, it's very bad at retaining players like me, but I think it works really well with what Guild Wars 2 tries to do, which is very much aimed at new players um, and players who kind of want to play the game very on and off uh, and kind of not, um, not feel like that their goal is moving away from them. Or, or it's actually, it's your, your, the only factor in achieving your goals in Guild Wars 2 is your own time. Um, so I, I think there's actually a really good example, guys, um, is actually how raiding works in World of Warcraft. You can actually run out of time to beat a boss in WoW. This is something that I'd never really thought about, um, before, but it's true. If, imagine, guys, if when, when Sarah CM came out, it just went away, basically, after, let's say, six months. That would be really weird um, if that happened. That's very strange. And I think that that's something that, um, uh, that, that players don't like about World of Warcraft, is that you can run out of time. Right out of time for Farax or something. Also, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like that. You can literally run out of time um, on Farak. Like there are guilds working on Farak right now, Mythic Farak, that will not kill it. They will run out of time. Um, and that is very different to the experience you have in Guild Wars Two. Like, and I, I use raiding there because I think it's a very obvious example. But it, it's kind of true for everything. Let's say you wanted to grind towards best in slot gear in WoW. You can actually fail. You can actually lose. Um, the, and that's weird. If you think about it, guys, I think one thing that many players like about MMOs is actually that they're easy. And I'm being serious here. There's nothing wrong with this. MMOs are easy. You put time in, you get reward out. Yeah? That's like the basic MMO principle. But I think that some modern MMOs, I think retail, World of Warcraft in particular, it actually will say that's not good enough. Um, if you don't try hard enough the game will say that you lost, um, which is interesting. That's not the case in Guild Wars 2. Um, you know, even if you're the worst player in the world, you will get there eventually. Like, you will be able to make your legendary weapon. You will be able to, you know, get all the gear and all the quality of life and stuff like that. You can't, like, run out of time to do that. Um, you'll be able to beat the bosses eventually. Uh, we've always been a pretty much world last uh, cutting edge guild, so the three boss wall, so you have. I mean, yeah, like we definitely ran into that again. Um, in, uh, w well, we were in a very similar position. Like we did. Sarkrath was alright. Echo and Sarkrath was fine. It was about a 200 puller for both of those for us. But this tier was just way harder. Um, like, 
yeah, Smolderon is was a challenge, and then Tindril and Farak is just really, really brutal. I think it was about 400 pulls for Tindril and then 500 pulls for Farak. Uh, very difficult bosses, and definitely took us a while to kind of get the job done there. Yeah. Um, Gears is a good because it doesn't um, force me, but I think it's actually I think it's actually very interesting um, when it comes to the whole like feeling forced to play something because I view that as such an interesting way of looking at games. Um, to be honest, like I feel like the only reason why people don't feel forced to play Guild Wars Two is because in a lot of ways there's nothing to do in Guild Wars Two. Right? Um, I know that it sounds a bit fucked up, but it, it's... It <laughs> I, I, that's not exactly how I'd put it. I don't know how I would put it exactly. That's, that's, that's too much of a harsh thing to say. Um, but... Um, it's... Because <sighs> I, I don't think you should feel forced to play any video game. Right? Like, you know, it, it's... Y yeah. Nothing to work towards? Yeah, it's kind of that. There's like nothing to work towards, right? Like that's a much, that's a much better and, and less um, harsh way of putting it. I, I, that's a very good way of doing it, yeah. It's that there's nothing to work towards. Like, you know, there's nothing that I need to do. But then again, there's not, there's not really anything that you need to do in any MMO, really, right? Like they're very sandboxy. Like, do what you want. Ah. Yeah. WoW is more skill-based, or just a time sink to progress? I'd say it's very skill-based, yeah. Um, you know, if you if you don't get good, you will not get the best items. That's just the, the reality of it. I, unless, I guess unless you pay for a carry or something. But yeah, like, if you don't improve, you are not getting the best in slot gear. It's just not happening. Like, if you can't do, um, you know, weekly 20s for Mythic Plus... You're not getting the best in slot gear. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna get good enough to do heroic raiding, you're not getting the best in slot gear. And ultimately, that's not even best in slot. Like mythic is best in slot. If you don't get good enough to farm that, you're, you're not getting that. It's simple as that. Um, so yeah, the, the game you can fail. You can actually lose. Um, which is, by the way, I actually think WoW is kind of the weird exception to this. I think most MMOs don't really lean into this concept, this idea of you can actually lose the game. I believe even in RuneScape, which has some, I think there are, um, there are a couple of things that are kind of locked behind skill in RuneScape, but I believe you can actually trade a lot of items as well, right? Like you can eat like really powerful items, you can trade them to other players and stuff like that. So even a game like RuneScape um, also kind of doesn't have this concept of like you can just lose. Uh, I actually do like RuneScape as well, by the way. Like old, old school RuneScape in particular, I think it has something really special. It's a game I still log into now and again, right? I actually don't sub to the game currently, but whenever there's a new quest for free to play, I always like to go and play that um and and play the new quest because i really like the quest system in, in um in in old school runescape actually and i i like the world building and the humor is very funny it's i i love a little bit of british humor and it it really is kind of embedded in that game which i i really do enjoy actually uh, it's pretty cool stuff yeah. Yeah. yeah what's the point of getting bis gear and wow do you need it outside of raids everything resets with the new patch anyways ah, fun maybe you know um I think a lot of players who like BIS, it's people like getting their numbers in the right order. I'll speak for myself. I like getting all of my stats to where they need to be for optimal damage output, right? I like having the right items for each dungeon so, um, you know, we can perform optimally in clearing this particular dungeon. That's fun. Uh, and also, the items are just fun to use as well, right? You know, it, it's, it's some of the, especially when it comes to, like, trinkets or cantrip items, basically items that have, like, a special effect that you can activate. Some of that's just fun to use. It's just enjoyable. Yeah. Do you like uh, Guy Ritchie's movies? I do, yeah. Very fun, a lot of the time. He did the, I think that that's like the Sher the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock films, right? That's a, that was fun. I like those. Pretty decent. But yeah, that's, and, and also just, you know, the other thing that I think many players like about uh, Bisque, number go up, right? 
people like it when number goes up and it is fun like it's fun to min max your character it's fun to you know get an upgrade and now you're more powerful right and you can do more dps right and you can uh you know perform even better all that kind of stuff it's fun it's the same thing as like you know if you practice and you execute a strat you get it done like for example like yesterday we failed a really difficult mythic plus dungeon and we failed in quite a tragic way as well to be honest we didn't even really lose to like dying too much as such we basically lost to a very minor miscommunication that completely fucked us um but it's gonna feel real good when we actually finally time it right when we're finally able to to beat it it's no problem right it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Avoidance becomes pretty necessary to farm uh, high keys. Um, I mean, th that is not true. Um, avoidance makes it easier, and I would actually agree that I don't really like the concept of tertiaries, especially because they're so random. Um, but bear in mind, during the Great Push, where world record keys were timed, they don't have tertiaries on that server, on the, um, the tournament server. So all of, like, the basically world record keys and absolute ultimate high-level performance in High Mythic Plus, that was done with zero tertiaries. Uh, it was with full best-in-slot gear, but of course the players have full best-in-slot gear on the live servers too. But uh, I do agree, I don't actually like uh, tertiaries whatsoever. It's a little bit silly um, that you can have something as powerful as... Um, you can have something that powerful. What's this clip? What is this? Decades of research, we have finally concluded why horizontal progression is far more healthier and fun okay. than vertical progression. So, okay. allow me to explain. Okay. You see? Okay. So, uh, any objections? Uh, you, sir, yes. Uh, yeah, so, uh... I just like it when the number goes up. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to, for sure, yeah. Uh, yep, pretty, 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 pretty much. <laughs> yep, that is what it is. Yeah. Um, nothing happens obsolete. Uh, I can just catch up, even if it takes ages. But I can see how this uh, staticness uh, turns people off. Um, for sure, yeah, it's very interesting, actually. It's, um, they're two very different styles of games. I kind of don't like how much I love matters and wow, it makes a huge difference. Always hard to compare that to what your performance to others. In Guild Wars, I always know whether room for improvement is since the best players uh, have the same gear as me. Um, the th <sighs> this is a very nuanced conversation, to be honest. But once you've got to 486 item level, which is very easy to do, and e if you're even remotely serious about playing the game, you will get that very quickly. You are on the same level as the best players in the world. And it all comes down to skill at that point. Um, I definitely agree that... The thing is, like... <sighs> the point where you're going to be behind players to the... Like, the situation where you're, you're in the position where you're comparing yourself to top players, but you don't have semi-bis gear, that's a very small window, if that makes any sense, right? That's like a very, very small window. If that makes any sense. Hey, what do we got? Wait, what is who? Who is this person? I don't know who that is. I'm not showing it on stream. If it were like numbers going up, how did wild players react to the stat squishes? To be honest, um, they probably were fine with it because the number still goes up. Like, it's just a smaller number, but it's still going up. It's not the big number that people like. It's the number going up that people like. Yeah. Fred Trump, Donald Trump. How am I supposed to know that? Yeah. 
Nice. Good evening, Alcar, by the way. But yeah, I, I, I mean, look, you don't, you're kind of preaching to the choir here, to be honest, Gary. And I don't like vertical regression just in principle. I just don't like it straight up. It's not a concept that I enjoy um, very much. Uh, however, however, it's not as relevant as you think, to be honest. Um, in almost all cases, you are being held back by your skill, not by your item level. Um, because it's kind of, it, so, like, I can do, this is something that Nike talks about a little bit. Like, there are no good players in Guild Wars 2 who don't have best in slot gear. Right? That doesn't exist. That's not a thing, right? Um, there's no one who's like, oh, I'm sick at doing rotations, but I only have greens. No. No, 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 no. Anyone who's going to be competent at the game is going to have the gear. And the same is very much true in WoW. Uh, if you're even remotely competent, you're going to have the gear. There is no sick as fuck WoW player who would dominate but they just don't have the bis. That's just not a thing. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in Guild Wars 2, and it doesn't exist in WoW either. Yeah. Pretty much. Yup. Have you seen SE at Ceres? What's going on? They're in the title runs? Title runs, you know, it's pain, guys. It's pain. How are you supposed to hit the big numbers uh, without uh, BIS uh, anyway? Well, I mean, you don't. You need the gear to perform well, but gear isn't going to carry you. What do you think about WoW Mythic versus Final Fantasy XIV Ultimates? As I understand it, they're, um, they're very different in the way that they play out. Uh, Nico, who's who played Mythic with me and plays Guild Wars 2 with me, and also is a very high-level Final Fantasy player, World 11th player in Final Fantasy, uh, has said that the distinction is that WoW raids are, like, very execution-oriented, whereas, like, the Final Fantasy stuff is very heavily puzzle-oriented, and you have to solve a very, kind of, uh, complex, um, you know, series of mechanics that requires a, you know, a very novel solution to kind of get through it. Yeah. That kind of thing. I'm stuck in low level keys in M plus because my teammates are bad. Yeah, and there are, you'll, you'll definitely find people who say that, right? Um, and But you know, you see that in Guild Wars 2, right, Nike? I think there's something that Nike has critiqued and he's quite right in doing so, is that, that there are plenty of people in Guild Wars 2 who will say, ah, yeah, you know, I'm stuck in tier three fractals because everyone there is terrible. Or, oh yeah, you know, I can't do this because I don't have stat infusions. And I, you know, like, oh man, my rotation is sick, but I just don't have the gear. You know, I can't afford to keep up with the gear and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Difference is so stark and it feels bad if you miss the last turn lag behind all the players in your group. So which didn't make such a big difference as it does now. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I'm, I'm with you there. I, I don't like vertical progression. It's definitely not a system that I particularly enjoy. Um... I guess the only consolation is, is that it's extremely fast. And I would say a lot of that power level is actually kind of um, attached to the tier set. Like once you get your tier set, that's going to be like a, the really big spike in power that you can kind of expect to get, uh, which they made a lot easier to get. But yeah, I know what you're saying for sure. But again, I think it's less of an issue because getting the gear is pretty easy easy um and yeah you're the, the thing that i really don't like about vertical progression in wow is it's actually weird to play your class before you have gear i think this is particularly particularly noticeable on haste classes so for example if you're playing vengeance demon hunter with no haste and no tier set it is fucking unplayable. Like, it is... It, it's, it's really not even close um, in 
in how it actually feels to play some of this stuff. So that's what I really don't like about vertical regression in, in WoW, is that having the gear can basically fundamentally change how the class plays, which is intentional, by the way. That's the point of the tier sets, is to make it um, make the tier set impact your gameplay. But that is annoying to me. And yeah, trinkets are annoying, especially like the ultra rare trinkets. That is pain, to be honest. That is uh, just pure fucking pain and suffering. Not gonna lie. It really, really is. I'm platinum skill personally, but in gold now you're a bad teammates. Yep, it happens. It absolutely does, you know? Final Fantasy look are very slow and boring to me when compared. Well, I mean, it's a very... Look, I would always urge people to be extremely hasty when saying this. A really big tendency that I see with, um, um, a really big tendency that I see with MMO players, probably other gamers as well, actually, is that people look at something different and go, this looks bad, right? Like, people who, I, I think, funnily enough, I actually think people do this with Guild Wars 2 as well, so I think Guild, uh, maybe even more so, actually, than others um, with, with Guild Wars 2. I think many players look at Guild Wars 2 and go, this looks shit, yeah? I, I think a lot of Guild Wars 2 is, we can empathize with being frustrated with that perspective because i think this is actually something that does kind of screw over guild wars too many players who play wow and final fantasy look at guild wars and go yeah this sucks basically um and, and don't even try right they don't even mess around with the game or, or even give it a chance and i think this happens with everyone with every game i think people probably look at final fantasy and go oh yeah this looks shit or people look at wow and go oh yeah this looks shit right 100 percent. Like, i think that happens all the time um, I would urge you to not to really try to avoid falling into that mentality and just give it a shot, right? Who knows? Maybe you like it because things are very rarely better or worse, especially when the games are good. Like, I know, I know this is going to sound like a meme and this isn't entirely true. So just, you know what I mean when I say this, but a game doesn't have millions of players while being complete dog shit, okay? Like, if a game's got millions of players, then... It can't be that bad. There's gotta be something there. And you're gonna say, oh, but what about mobile games, Teapot? What about, get the fuck off. You know what I'm talking about here, right? Like, it's, it's literally impossible that nobody who's playing Final Fantasy is having fun. That's, that's just not reality. There's got to be something there um, if, if people keep coming back to play it. So give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. First time I'm trying to play WoW with friends. Two times I made terrible race and class mechs. First being Shaman when you had to travel the entire world to get your terms. Ah, vanilla. Second being Elf and started separated from everyone else. Yeah, that, that is a... Honestly, the Night Elf stuff in vanilla is particularly annoying. Because it actually takes you quite a long time to be able to actually get to Eastern Kingdoms. You can kind of do it with a little bit of uh, danger running. You can kind of run through wetlands. Uh, and you can make it to the rest of the other factions in Eastern Kingdoms. But yeah, it, it is a bit... Uh, yeah, definitely a bit weird. And yeah, you can even get to the starting area at level one, right? You can, um, yeah, like Jester played Elf in one of our um, hardcore attempts. And he just ran, basically, from the Elf starting zone to the human starting zone. Yeah. I don't like Final Fantasy because raids sound like the maternity ward. Well, it's an anime MMO, right? Or like a weeb MMO. So the characters are kind of going to be screaming and grunting the entire time. That's Isn't that just something that comes along with the anime territory? Do you think that um, the reward structures for horizontal progression games like Guild Wars 2 are unappealing though? Like once you're full leisure in Guild Wars 2, the only rewards um, to go even for is uh, golden infusions. What do you even get with your mobile sides uh, rewards or get skins? Well, I mean, it, it, like the, the thing is, is that this is why Guild Wars 2 doesn't really market towards ultimately like very high level, very like long-term veteran players. Um, it's because... There is nothing to do at that point. Um, Guild Wars 2's model, and by the way, this is a million percent true, it's very effective. They just realize that, well, almost nobody's going to get there anywhere, anyway, so who cares? And that's true. Uh, almost nobody is actually going to finish Guild Wars 2. Um, like, is the game kind of a little bit overview at that point? To an extent, yes. Um, but, I mean, that's not really an issue. 
it's okay to be done with the game. It absolutely is. It's not something that's desirable for everyone, though. For example, I don't want to be done with a game. I don't want to be done with Guild Wars 2. In a lot of ways, I kind of do want a game to want me to log in every day. This is actually why I like stuff like World vs. World um, and stuff like that um, as, as much as I do. Um, oh, I'm fucked here. There's no way we're finding a Willbender 1v1, I don't think. This is not going to happen. We have a blind field. There's an actual guard on us as well, which really is not what we want. Oh. But she got him. Nice. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Uh, as, I was, as I was saying, um, yeah, I, I like stuff like World vs. World because in, in World vs. World, if you wanted to play World vs. World competitively, one of the most important things you need to do is log in every day. You have to constantly fight, you have to constantly defend towers, constantly upgrade, and be very active. I like that. It's why um, I'm very excited whenever anyone is talking about some kind of open world PvP style thing. Because games like that kind of inherently want you to log in every day, because the game isn't going to wait for you. Right, the game is not just standing around, it's going constantly, 24 hour 7. I like that. And of course I acknowledge that I think most people don't like that so much, or at least it's a, a relatively small slice of the player base, but I do like that. I like a game that isn't going to sit around and wait for me. I like a game that is going 24 7. It's very cool. Yeah. That's why I like World vs. World, it's why when you watch my stream, I'm usually AFKing World vs. World. I think it's practically a meme at this point. Like, oh, I wonder what Teapot's doing today. He's probably AFKing in World vs. World. Because, uh, yeah, it's not a joke. I actually like this stuff. Uh, this is my probably my favorite game mode in, uh, in Guild Wars 2. If I, could if I could pick one game mode and I had to only play that game mode, without a shadow of a doubt, it would be World vs. World. Not even close. Boom. Do you have any other rewards in mind that games could give us in horizontal progression system? I actually don't think so. I think it, um, if you wanted to to kind of appease people like me in Guild Wars 2, you would have to make the game fundamentally different, which would upset the remainder of the core player base, which I would actually advocate against because I don't think that would be in the interest of the game or the majority of the player base, realistically. Yeah, because I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys, I like the fact that we might, there, there is an alternate universe where we weren't able to kill Farak in time. I like that. It's fun. It makes it inherently competitive and I think inherently exciting. I like the fact that if you want to get the Mythic Plus title, you don't have infinite time. I like the fact that you can lose um to other players basically like the game is inherently competitive in world of warcraft that is fun uh i like it yeah, yeah. because it's com it's competitive you know it's it's a little bit of pressure a little uh you know a little spice a little bit of juice you guys know what i'm saying it's good i like it What do you say is the best to AFK World versus World this patch? I think anything is pretty good. It just, I mean, I guess make sure that you can clear camps relatively efficiently and you're good to go pretty much. I think it's uh, nothing too crazy. Even though you uh, lost, of course, yeah, we did lose. And that uh, was probably terrible. It was absolutely awful. Um, but yeah, of course, that's why I like stuff like that. It's because it's competitive. But obviously a miserable failure on our part, but it is what it is. PvE content is like, why would you rather have PvP? I'd rather have PvP than PvE. Uh, but in general, PvP and MMOs is not really a thing so much. Um, so yeah, no, I prefer PvP. But I'll take what I can get, guys. You know, we'll, we'll take what we can get. We absolutely will. Ah, oh, we're in. Let's go. New World, yes. New World could have been good. 
The things that never were, though, unfortunately. Let's go. I think there's some action going on here. There's like some uh, some epic gameplay. Wait, someone say something in the YouTube chat. Yo, YouTube chat, say something. I'm not sure if I can see it. Seriously, I'm gonna have to write. Seriously, guys, I'm gonna have to write my own goddamn add-on, man. Because I'm trying to. I'm using this application that's supposed to be reading the YouTube chat, but it just doesn't work. It like breaks constantly. I'm legit gonna have to write my own. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I can't see it on my little app. I can I've, I can see you guys now though. I've opened a Chrome tab. Now I can see you. The hell is going on here? I want an MMORPG with good exploration, uh, but mobs that you can't just AFK mow down. I think that's actually really difficult. Um, it, it's really difficult to do that. Like, open world is inherently difficult to handle. Um, I think what you can do... Funnily enough, I actually think New World was kind of like that. They did make the game a lot easier. They massively nerfed the open world in New World, which is one of the things that I found most tragic, actually, about that game. Um, when it got released, it got giga nerfed. Or maybe they just power corrupt the players. It's, it's hard to say which, which it was, to be honest, but... That is what happened. Um, but it's really difficult to do that because the problem that you run into is that how do you balance open world where everyone's skill levels kind of get mixed up? It's very difficult to do that. Uh, which is I impossible to balance. Yeah, it is. I think the way that you could do it is by basically having harder areas, having harder mobs that require more skill, but like give you better loot or something like that. And that's kind of what New World was going for, but yeah, a little bit. When I started playing Gilles, I watch your videos a lot. Uh, at the time, Warrior is considered the worst, and you were very vocal about it. I did not realize you were talking about Warrior in the meta. It took me a while to play Warrior, and I regret it, because it's the one that I had the most fun. I mean, Warrior is really good now, so good news. Easy. Yeah, there certainly was a time where... Warrior was actually weirdly, you know, Warrior has historically been very dominant, actually. Um, it's very powerful historically, but it definitely had a little bit of a lull where it was on the weaker side, actually, in at least in PvE. Uh, but that's not the case anymore. Like, Spellbreaker and Berserker are very good. And, and Bladesworn is powerful, too, in the right hand. Just maybe a little bit more of a niche build. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Boom. There you go. Yeah. I mean, Banners are very powerful. Yeah, but that is Warrior right um like warrior and there have been some condi berserker builds as well right that have been pretty strong and blade sworn and well i guess that was a little bit later but eventually the other stuff became good too indeed 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 i don't think the community is there for a game like that well i mean maybe there is you know i i wish that we had alternate universe technology because I, I I really think a game like New World could actually do really well because there's so much casual stuff you can do in that game like just going around harvesting right you can go and you know mine and chop trees down and just farm some of the mobs like or you can go into like the elite dungeon areas right and do that or you can do like world PvP I think there's some pretty interesting stuff that could happen with a game like that. That's uh, every game. Yeah, but I think um, that's kind of my point, right? Yeah, like all MMOs ultimately cater to Omega casuals. Um, so yeah, and actually someone asked me about this. Someone actually really asked, someone asked me about this. I, I, I saw the question, but I didn't respond. It was about, I really hate that WoW has like high RNG for loot. Um, and yeah, do you know why it's like that guys? It's actual for casuals. Okay, let me explain why. Um, Getting a really good drop is like, holy shit, this is fucking hype. Um, and that's a really fun experience. Espe but it's actually more of a fun experience if you don't need the good drop. Having the rarity and like super rare trinkets and stuff like that, that is unbelievably frustrating as a more hardcore player because sometimes it just doesn't fucking drop. And you know that your character is gimped a little bit by not having it. Um, and that is very annoying. It's actually a very anti-hardcore feature. Like, very high variance is very anti-hardcore. 
um, in my opinion, when it comes to gear progression. It's a very pro-casual thing, though, because it's very exciting. It means that whenever a player is completing a piece of content, it's like, oh, man, you know, I'm going to get this crazy drop. I'm really excited to see if I'm going to get it. Like, that's, um, that's why WoW goes that way. Yeah. Boom. Incredible. Necro, I can't sound like I see them everywhere. Well, I mean, look, okay, if you if you are letting other people inform your decisions about playing a video game, um, you need to stop, dust yourself off, and realize that's a terrible way to go about things. Boom, there you go, enjoy. Deep skill expression and powerful items do seem to butt heads. They absolutely do. There was a big problem with the legendary. The There was a legendary in WoW this season that was kind of insanely powerful. Like, it was like a 10% DPS increase even. And you do, maybe you just didn't get it, right? Like, maybe it just didn't drop. GG. Unlucky. They did actually give a lot of bad luck protection eventually. To be fair. To a point where you will be guaranteed to get it after a certain amount of time. But still, not fun. Uh, not fun at all. Yes. Do you think the next Gears expansion will have a new class? I actually think new class is one of the things that could happen. Um, I, I could see them doing that. It's probably less work than doing an elite spec for every profession in the game. So adding a new one with maybe one elite special... I, I wonder how they'd approach that. I wonder if they'd give it three elite specializations on launch like the others i feel like they probably would that's still probably less development time than doing an elite spec for all of them because think about that if you do like one core class and three elite specs that's essentially less than half of the work of developing an elite spec for every profession because i'm kind of assuming that you know an elite spec is kind of like making a new class a little bit kind of especially the ones that are more mechanically different um in terms of like the skill design i guess it'll be a lot of new skills though because you have to do a bunch of weapons and utilities so you, that would be a lot of work actually i think but probably doable uh, especially if they only launch with let's say two elite specs rather than um rather than three or maybe even only one like i i could see them doing that uh i thought they wouldn't do that well i mean do they have to do that i'm not i'm not actually sure if they do have to update the law because um they didn't with rev they didn't with rev like does it really make sense that revenants start at level one no revenants don't exist at level one in the law um revenants only exist when you get to heart of thorns basically uh, well, you know, kind of towards the, um, like, Living World Season 2, right? Revenant isn't a thing uh, at that point. It's only a thing then. So, no, you shouldn't be able to be a Rev at level 1. So, yeah, easy. They could just do it. Easy. Making one new trait line versus making three trait lines. Yeah, I'm, I mean... I don't think traits are... Traits are probably not as expensive as, like, all the new skills, though, right? Like, new skills, animations, that's where a lot of the cost is. Like, this stuff is probably more doable. More doable. In Guild Wars 1, you have to be a certain level to go through a different campaign. Uh, yeah, you could basically play through all of them. I think they actually did a really cool job of linking them up there. I, I think me and Nike have talked about this as well. I think that the way Guild Wars 1 did it was actually very intelligent. Um, in Guild Wars 1... It wasn't like all the campaigns were parallel, basically. And they could all converge at some point as well. Like you could go through all the different paths and then cross over into the other ones. And it kind of made sense um, with that. And in particular with the, the expansions, they really got the early stuff out of the way very quickly, right? Um... You know, for example, in factions, it try it really. I think Nightfall's even faster, actually. But what you'll notice about those games is it really doesn't waste much time getting you to level twenty uh, and getting you into kind of the end game. If you look at the amount of max level zones in um, Nightfall and factions, it's a lot. Whereas Prophecies is much slower, right? Like Prophecies um, is a. I think it's a. It's a longer campaign overall. I'd say probably a little bit longer. Not much longer than the others, to be honest. But it it definitely takes its time a lot more. The leveling from 1 through 20. I mean, look, you're basically like 
almost like two thirds of the way through the campaign by the time you get 20, I think, um, in in prophecies, maybe even more than that. Like you really, um, yeah, you, you really, it, it does take a while to get to max level. Uh, but in the expansions, it's like no bullshit. We want to give our players as much max level content as possible. So it goes really, really fast. And then it you can parallel to the other stories if you like. Also, your curb has resub 55 billion years. Very nice. How many odds you got in Guild Wars 2? Too many, Jake. Too many. Too many. No, I, yeah. No, I don't really view it as... Um, I don't think it's a bad thing, by the way, guys, that uh, MMOs are casual. Quite the opposite. Uh, it would be long dead if that wasn't the case. Uh, you got to level 20 if you played it probably before you hit the, the desert. Yeah, it's like around there, right, isn't it? Which is pretty deep, right? Like, you're pretty far through at that point. Through the story, no? Nightfall is not faster than factions. Yeah, I have a slightly dim recollection. I know they were both very fast, but I wasn't sure which one was faster. Wasn't totally sure. But I remember them both being very fast, for sure. I was doing, I was at 17 doing Thirsty River. I mean, I guess there's obviously going to be some level of variance on it. Great skill check in Guild Wars 1. Yeah, I think the Doppelganger is a really fun mission. Uh, to be honest, in particular. It's very cool. And yeah, all of those missions. I feel like those missions... And man, Guild Wars 1 is such a good example of why difficulty in video games is so important. Because, let's be honest, like... Guild Wars 1 is not mega hard, right? Like, playing through the campaign is not insane. But it is punishing, right? Like, this is the important thing. I view it as very similar to Vanilla WoW. And that's not a surprise, right? Like, Guild Wars 1 and Vanilla WoW, they're about the same time. Like, Guild Wars was actually a year after Vanilla WoW came out in 2005, whereas Vanilla came out in 2004. Um, they're very much of the same era, and it really shows in their gameplay design. It's not hard, right? You know, you don't have to be a giga gamer, ultra high APM, uh, you know, overlord to be able to clear the prophecies campaign. But you have to learn. Like, if you don't understand and, and investigate some of the basic concepts, you will get farmed. Like, you know, if you don't realize that you should probably interrupt those elementalists casting Meteor Shower. You're gonna have a very rough time, right? Like, if you don't go, huh, I've got like seven hexes on me. I should probably do something about that. You will have a very unfortunate time playing Guild Wars 1. And that's why difficulty is important. Because it's the same thing with vanilla. Is level 7 rat difficult? Absolutely not. Like... Level 7 Crab, level 21 Kobold, these are not hard enemies. But if you don't learn that you should probably only pull one or two at the same time, you will be ended by the Kobold. The Kobold will humble you uh, over and over and over again. And I think that's like the good kind of difficulty. I think it's like the, the type of difficulty that actually does effectively kind of force players to learn and pick things up a little bit. Yeah. They stole more than spots one through three. But I mean, wait, wait, what is that wait, in reference to? Like the Guild Wars 2 weapon contest? Well, hang on a minute. Let's be clear. I wouldn't call it stealing when those weapons were designed specifically for that contest. That's a bit of a weird spin on it. PvP game? Well, n no, it's, it's just, it's difficult in the right way. Um, like, I, I think that th this is actually a really interesting t uh, conversation about difficulty. So, th one of the reasons why I think people don't like stuff like, or, or, <sighs> hmm. I can understand why people don't like certain types of difficulty. And in particular, one type of difficulty that I think players tend to dislike a little bit is actually being 
um, mechanically good at the game. And most modern MMOs kind of require you to be mechanically good at the game. Whereas I think more classic MMOs, it was a lot more about uh, understanding how the game works. You didn't necessarily have to be able to execute at a very high level, but you needed to understand. And I think, in a lot of ways, that's actually the good kind of difficulty, or the type of difficulty that is very accessible. Um, not everyone wants to grind their game mechanics and, you know, improve their actions per minute and improve their execution of rotations and improve their reaction time, right? Like, this is not something that everyone has, uh, any, you know, not, not every player has a particular interest in doing this type of thing. And I understand that. And I think more classic MMOs didn't really have this. Like, it, you could do that. You could obviously become mechanically insane, but it was optional. Um, these days, it's it's mandatory to an extent. Um, like, you have to be able to button press a lot. Yeah, knowledge. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Old MMOs were knowledge checks. Modern MMOs are skill checks. And I think, in general, knowledge checks are a lot more accessible. And I, I feel like players like them a little bit more. Um... And modern MMOs are skill checks. I fell off. It's over. Yeah. Incredible. People aren't willing to take challenging content uh, seriously. Well, I, I think that's a perhaps a slightly cynical take on it. I prefer to think about it as like, well, or I suppose I suppose I like to ask, why, why don't people want to take challenging content seriously? If that, yeah, I, I want to know why. Why do people feel that way? And I think people are very willing to be challenged in certain ways. But they don't like, they don't necessarily like being challenged in other ways. And that is interesting to me. Uh, I think. I, I gave, I'll give this example again, guys. Um, I was helping an HTCM static. And they had every single mechanic mapped out. Like, everyone even had perfectly assigned positions. Uh, for spreads. Everything was mapped out. Every single mechanic was calculated and planned for. And they couldn't kill the boss. And they couldn't kill the boss for a simple reason. Uh, their healers were bad. Their DPS was uh, an abomination. And people were just not pressing buttons. There were zero boons, zero uptime, zero DPS. It was a, it was a complete fiesta. Um, and the thing is, their players just were not interested in... They were just not interested in improving those areas. They were perfectly um, fine with learning the knowledge and learning the mechanics and figuring out strategy and stuff like that, but not even a single one of them was even remotely interested in pressing their buttons better. And that experience actually really... I found that incredibly interesting. Because um, I believe the group ended up disbanding, actually, and not clearing. But I basically said, look, guys, I'll tell you what's wrong. Your damage sucks, your boons suck, your healing sucks. This is why you can't do it. Um, and, well, I, I was obviously a little bit nicer than that, to be clear. But you, you, you know what I mean. Um, and, yeah, they were just were not interested. They were not interested whatsoever. They were like, yep, we don't want to do that. We do not want to get better at the game. Um, and I, I think that's common, actually. I think it's very common. People are, do not want to improve their skill at the game. They're okay with learning things about their game, but they don't want to get better at the game. Um, yeah. People don't like uh, one-shot mechanics. Um, I mean, I, they're, I mean, sometimes you need one-shot mechanics. Uh, I don't think every mechanic should be a one-shot. That's a little unfun, but you do need that sometimes. They don't want to realize that they know nothing about the game. Um, well, I mean, again, I, I like to be less cynical about this. That is a very cynical uncharitable interpretation of what happened in this static um maybe they just don't like doing that uh do we not think that's a possibility that maybe they just don't it's just not part of their preference is engaging with the game maybe they just don't want to engage with the game in that way um 
And I think there's, you know, you go, well, why don't they like that? Well, I mean, I don't know, like, why do I like orange juice, right? And I don't particularly like pineapple juice. I, pff, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why. I can't tell you that. Um, it, you know, it just, it just is, right? Using the wrong gear as well. Nope, they were all perfectly fully geared with uh, best and slot, including infusions, actually. What now? Gear was not the problem. Is it the game's fault players don't want to engage with its systems? Um, should the players be playing the game then? Good question. Um, I would say that you should never cater to players who don't engage with your game systems. I think that's actually a mistake that Guild Wars 2 has made. I think Guild Wars 2 is actually designed around people not engaging with the game. Uh, by the way, I would... I would argue that is semi-true in WoW, but to a lesser extent... Like, the open world and story is trivial, and LFR is trivial. You do not need to know anything about the game um, uh, whatsoever. Uh, but a little bit less than that, because you can't get good gear without engaging with it, at least a little bit with the game's mechanics. Um, whereas, obviously, that's not the case in Guild Wars. You can get absolute full bis in this game and even have some of the highest gold per hour while knowing nothing about the game mechanically whatsoever. So it's a little bit different, but... I'd say a lot of games fall into this trap. I, I don't think it makes for I don't think it makes for a good game when you assume that your players aren't going to actually engage with your game in any way. That to me is a very strange design decision that I think probably makes the game worse. Yeah. What pineapple? No, I don't. I don't like pineapple juice, guys. I'm not into it. Um, you want to engage players who aren't currently engaging in some of the game systems and drive them towards using the mechanics. The problem isn't um, that there are people who don't engage in the mechanics initially, but the big problem is isn't a lot driving those types of players to actually do it. You basically agreed with me, but in different words. Um, like, it, 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 I, I, I said it's not good to design the game around people who don't engage with the mechanics, and you said it's a good idea to design the game in such a way to force people to engage with mechanics. Yes. The, those, the two things that we said are sentence one, sentence two. Like, they are connected. They're the same statement, but from a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't like pineapple in general. See, it's not, it's not a food that I enjoy. You can buy in WoW. Yeah, but when you start talking about third player, uh, third party services, like it turns into like meaningless junk. Like I could pay someone to play on my account and farm, um, farm stuff for me. I mean, like, bleh, like, I, I mean, okay. Like, you know, it, yes, it, cheating, cheating. If you cheat, it breaks down. The, the game breaks down, right? When you start cheating, you, you're obviously right there. But I mean, I, I, it's kind of a conversation dead end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something you think is trivial might uh, be someone else's entire reason for logging in. Uh, in a complex multiverse again, like, you'll never have to distill what's the intended experience. Uh, I would say only the devs can do that, um, to be honest. And, actually, um, is that true? I, I think intended experience is a bit of a red herring. I wouldn't say I'm really talking about intended experiences here. I'm talking about do you need to actually engage with game mechanics? I think that's not the same thing as intended experience. I think it's more like using the systems the game provides you. It's similar. It, it, I almost feel like I'm splitting a hair, but not really. I don't think... I don't think it's the same thing to say, what did the devs intend, versus assuming that players will engage with a game system. For example, like, should you design an RPG around the fact that some players aren't going to use gear. No. 
absolutely not. But in a lot of ways, that is what Guild Wars 2 has done. And also retail WoW, by the way. Um, Guild Wars 2 open world is so easy and so trivial that it actually is designed essentially around people not using gear. Um, you know, open world bosses require what? 3k DPS per player to clear? Essentially, a player with no gear would easily be able to accomplish 3k DPS. In a lot of ways, yeah, the, the content is designed around that. Wait, fruit tier list. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't completely sure on all of these, um... Fruit, but yeah. Yeah, coconut isn't good. Pineapple is dog shit. Honestly, no, watermelon is fairly low tier. Um, blood orange, yeah, whatever. I don't really like black currants. Don't really like blueberries. Blackberries are, yeah, they, they, this is all pretty C tier stuff, to be honest. That may, I was maybe a bit too harsh on dates, to be honest. Uh, dates are pretty okay, I guess. But yeah, apples, very good. Apricot, pear, grapes, lemons, limes, raisins. Yeah, th yeah, this is all pretty good stuff. Avocado is S tier, actually, though. No, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. Pineapple is nothing but worthless dog shit. We all know it, guys. Wait, did I not put tomato in S tier? Tomato is S tier. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, would I drink avocado juice? I don't think I've really ever had avocado juice. Wait, someone's dead over here. I'm leeching this kill. Boom. Kill leeched. Yeah. Raisins. No, raisins are pretty high tier. Yeah. You should hang a pineapple upside down for it to show how much you just like them. Yeah, maybe I will. I bought an avocado once. Worst two euros ever. So, I mean, yeah, they are definitely a little bit pricey. You don't go for an avocado all the time, that's for sure. But no, avocados are high tier. Yes. No taste. Eat, tastes like eating raw butter. What the fuck? What kind of avocado you, have you got over there, bro? The hell's going on? That's weird, dude. That's weird. It's pretty weird stuff. Has no taste. It's just uh, just fat. Well, I mean, it, it's, it definitely has like a subtle flavor for sure. It's not like a super intense, uh, super. I mean, thing is. You don't just have avocado on its own. Like, you're going to season your avocado, right? You know what I mean? You're going to turn avocado into something else, right? Like, it's it's more like a... I guess I would say it's kind of like a, a base rather than something that you would just, like, eat on your own. You don't just, like, eat an avocado, right? Yeah, a little bit of salt, a little bit of seasoning, right? You know what I'm saying? That's what you want. Maybe a little bit of heat. Avocado is really good with some little, you know, a little warmth to your food. Avocado on toast. Yeah, I saw on the internet, guys, that everyone would be rich if people stopped eating avocado on toast. So, I mean, that's, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Yes. Um, that means it's a trash fruit that needs to be carried. Well, I mean, that, that, that's ridiculous. Okay, what are you, what are you guys talking about? Avocado ice cream? That's actually really interesting. I haven't had, don't think I've had that. Well, I mean, I definitely haven't. Yes. It's only good if you do other stuff to add better fruits. Math doesn't check out. Well, no, I'm just saying it's very high tier. I'm saying that the, stu the stuff that you see avocado in is good. Nah, watermelon isn't good, man. It's not, it's low tier. It's low tier at best. Z tier. Yeah. This guy's beans any official disregarded. Listen, dude, guys, are you really gonna listen to me? Okay, or are you gonna listen to Rated, who does fucking tank DPS on the god spec? Okay, he's literal tank DPS on fucking mage, bro. Like this guy, his his opinions have no merit on anything. Here we go. And you know what the best part is? We have to talk about this. How are we gonna, dude? You guys know it's Mage Shadow Priest next tier, right? 
You guys are aware of that, yeah? You guys know it's made Shadow Priest Org. I, I'm assuming you have been made familiar with this. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Mage's dog. Dog. Yeah. Need to buff Mage again? Maybe they will. But look, you know it's the god comp. So, who's playing Augmentation Evoker? That's actually the big one. Who's playing Org? Someone's going to have to do it. Oh, shit. Is this some crazy, like, ray? Oh, some technology here? Oh, yeah. So that's going to help you on your Atal then, huh? Yeah, that's pretty big. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a spot you can do for the swords as well um, later on. But yeah, that is big, actually. I like how you just can't even see the mobs because you're too far away when you do that. Well, oh, Sagefish, uh, STV Jester, and Alterac. Yeah. That is where... But yeah. So I guess what's it going to be? Rated is Org next tier? Vivi is Shadow Priest, and Abindo is playing Fire Mage. And then Snizzle is Mistweaver, probably, I guess. Oh, actually, Snizzle is Resto Druid, actually, isn't he? Ooh, yeah, it's Resto Druid. Yeah, interesting. Because I think for really high keys, having Druid buff is huge. It has CR on healer, which is nice, and also, uh, yeah, pretty big. I've been playing at anything else other than Fury when Season 2 tier set exists. Well, to be honest, it's basically going to be similar god comp to, to Season 2. So it's not that bad, to be honest. Maybe we could do Ret instead for Paladin. It will either be... it. We might go Ret, I guess. Could be good, I think. And also... And VDH is obviously going to be the best tank. There's absolutely no question about that. It's easily the best. So it's going to be VDH, Resto Druid, probably. And then... Shadow Priest, Org, I guess. Connie Reaper? Oh, no, I'm Power Reaper right now. Uh, join the guild at the name Joko. We're not doing uh, recruitment stuff yet, guys. I will do the guild recruitment. Well, look, I guess I should actually explain this as well, guys. Like, if you're watching on YouTube right now or anywhere, you probably noticed... Where has Zero to Hero been? Well, we've I've been a little bit busy recently. I, I started the season again and then, you know, basically stopped doing it because uh, Sarah CM came out. We've been working on that for a while and I had a lot of mythic progression to do at the same time. So I've been away a little bit, basically. Not been able to uh, play on this account that much, but we should be good to go now. Yeah. We should be back in business. Very nice. Atrociously dog shit design that's 90% of Shadow Priest hate. I'm surprised people don't like it. I felt like the... See, at least, I don't know much about how it plays out in Season 3. But I feel like it was really cool in Season 2. Like, sending out all your little ghosts. And I think abilities like Vampiric are always loads of fun to use, I think. I, I really like skills like that. Um, I feel like kind of like lifesteal and stuff. They're really fun. Let's go... Abindo Augmentation Evoker. Very nice. Do you need a school for Sages? Can you just fish it normally? Uh, it, you, you need a school. If you don't go for schools, you will be Z gold per hour. You'll be like one gold per hour. You definitely don't want that. 
You just sent Vampiric again. Mice Chris on the 6th, 7th row mark pull. Yeah, I remember that. Like, yo, Vivi, please hold Vampiric for the second ad on Assad. And then he sends it on pull every single fucking time. That's actually crazy. I remember that. Yeah. Instantly sends. I used to send it on pull, and now I literally never press the buttons in pugs. Removed it from my brain. Zaced. That is zaced, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's fun. Chat. I watched Three Body Problem, and it was really good. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I am saying that it's really good, and you should watch it. Fucking fire. Maybe I should spoil it. Maybe it's time, guys. Maybe today is Judgment Day, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's Judgment Day. Which is also amusingly appropriate. Yeah, this is not really going very well, is it? Oh, it's really not going very well. Yeah, this is not going to work. Maybe we have some more helpers. I need to back off. If I get my heal skill, there's maybe some potential here. She's a lot of sustain. Is that a heal, heal something? I think they're just celestial, aren't they? Man, Selly is just so fucking tanky in World vs. World. It's so hard to break through this stuff. This guy's got mace, so he might be some kind of support, or like a more support-oriented build. Oh, well, here come the gang. Yeah. Yeah. Watch it while I love my dragonflight fishing. Ah, very good. Reveal the full p book plot. Yeah, I will. As I this guy goes mage, he'll be hard forced to use his defenses normally, else he's permadead and mentally broken with no SKV stacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually very funny. During that 30 Atal yesterday, I felt like Rated actually mentally broke. Uh, you know, he, he just died like fucking 50 times on the first pull. I was like, it's over for me. I cannot play. And then he did 80k DPS on one of the pulls. Yeah. How's Reaper in World vs. World? Uh, it's good in Zergs. Condi rebuild for roaming. I mean, yeah, that would be the, the way to go. When's the next season? That show's pretty wicked. I mean, it'll probably take him a while to make. It's a high-budget show, right? But, I mean, they'll definitely make another one, which is good news. Um, is it good for a PvE story? Yeah, Kondi is actually strong right now. Uh, especially, it's actually a very interesting build because you kind of, the more of you you have, the better it is because you use each other's ice fields, basically. Uh, to do even more and more uh, combo finishes to get all the bleeding stacks. Pretty interesting uh, kind of build concept, build idea. Yeah. Are you ready for bolstering shoot today, Rated? On those archers? Bolstered shoot? Bolstered knife dance? You know, here's something. How do we do? How do we do the uh, first pull on fall? By the way, <laughs> how, how do we even do that? <laughs> do half and half? You think? Because I feel like there's absolutely no way it's livable. Like pulling all of it is not. That is not gonna happen. <laughs> There's no way that's doable. Let's go. Yeah. And it was whole different place to like Condi Reaper, chill to bleed. Yeah, I saw that. I think it's pretty cool. I think the issue is that it can make the build very, very niche. Like Condi Reaper is definitely a very niche build, uh, but it's cool roleplay. Really interesting, uh, interesting gameplay in that build. Let's go. 
I miss Mice on Org, dude. We need Mice on Org back. I think Mice is playing next season, actually. I think he had some, like, hardware issues, but he's back to the game now. Feels good. Let's go. Thieves will have an, uh, um, an advantage to ambush. I mean, Thief is the best world versus world roamer. Just no questions about it. Because like, when it comes to stuff like roaming and dueling and all that kind of stuff, at the end of the day, uh, mobility is king. Right? Like, mobility is always the king of that. Man, one thing that never ceases to annoy me is when people go for stomps in that situation. It's such a massive misplay. It was crank season for mice. Yeah, he cranked. He was permanently cranking his hog. Yeah. Mice is the world's strongest player. He mentally survived a full season of org. The best part is, is that it might be rated on augmentation of Oka next season. Because, in fact, it almost certainly is. Vivi Shadow Priest rated org and then a Bindo Rat or something. Because I think you, especially for high keys, because we want to play high keys TGP. Um, we are going to need Augmentation of Oka. Rat and Mage is an awful combo. Because, I mean, it's going to be Rat and, um, Shadow Priest. Rat, Shadow Priest, Org is probably what we do. Because, I, I mean, unless a bit knows plays Fire Mage, anyway. Why would I not play Shadow Priest? Because Vivi wants to play Shadow Priest. So it's, it's either you or Vivi is playing Org for TGP, basically. That is that is the reality we're in right now. So who's it going to be? <laughs> you basically have to decide between who's going to be the Shadow Priest and who's going to be the Org. What's TGP? Yeah, it's basically a... It's, um, it's a dungeon tournament in wow where you have to time the highest possible keys pretty much so mdi is a speed run contest um tgp is like a how high can you go contest how hard how hard dungeon can you time that is the situation The Shadow Priest that died the least in Freeholds last season wins. Well, I guess it's rated then. Boom, he wins. All three orgs buffing you. They all do tank damage anyways. I mean, that's true. Then my damage will be insane. I'll have all of the buffs. But yeah, I do actually want to try... I will... I want to play the tournament server a lot. We will be giga tryharding uh, next season. It's going to be great. Hey, Navistos! Thanks for the resub, my friend. Welcome back. Hit the sub button, chat. Do it. What do I need to do for the vault? Capture a shrine. Wait, we already have all the shrines. Are you kidding me? It's not possible. Man, there really hasn't been a lot of action going on in World vs. World. I'm actually a little disappointed. There's not much going on. Oh, wait. The Emerald Sanctum? Or Sapphire Sanctum? Oh, that's this one. Let's go, guys. Holy shit. Let's go to the jumping puzzle. Let's do this. A bitch roll, or is it annoying to play? It's um, definitely not a spec that people like. It's a support. And it's, you know, there's not a lot of button pressing going on. You know, it's, uh, you will press Living Flame and Ebon Might. Uh, so to play some RTS, any advice to get good at them? Use hotkeys well. Learn how to use hotkeys well. Um, and focus on macro over micro every time. Um, the way you win RTS, almost until you're at the pro level, and to be frank, until you're at the pro level, even beyond the pro level, make more shit than the other guy. And that's very much easier said than done. Like, RTS game uh, macro is obviously very difficult, but yeah, pretty much make more than the other guy. Actually, land a hit. He don't think, don't think this guy has a stun break. Yeah, no stun break from this guy. Is that other guy coming back? I'm gonna put the blind field down. I think I can. The problem is, I don't think I can kill the thief. It's SD thief as well, which is really gnarly um, for Necro to deal with. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't fight this. I'm gonna need help from this guy. 
I think this guy might be able to 1v2, to be perfectly honest. We don't really have a uh, kill potential. I have no dodge as well. I can swap for an energy sigil. But yeah, realistically, I don't think we can... I don't think we can engage very well. Oh, looks like the Thief is going to run. I actually, honestly, I would take this fight if I was the Thief. I mean, I guess Vindicator is a bit spooky, but yeah, like, I can't really... Oh, there's another Thief too. Well, that's just beautiful, isn't it? Now with two Thieves, that's... It's going to be a little bit rough, I guess. Yeah, not much counterplay to Thief on Reaper, to be honest, guys. Not ideal. Can you do a tier list on the best packs to use for different roles in Guild Wars 2? Best A heal, ADBS, QDBS? Uh, I guess I should do a tier list again soon, shouldn't I? It's the easiest way to play in Ember, so not fun for good players, but the hardest way to play in Raid, so no good for new frogs. Yeah, it's a bit scuffed. Starve and Fearing is high tier. Um, I mean, yeah, Starve is very good, but you will not be an even remotely competent thief uh, as Necro. Uh, Necro is it, Necro is hard countered by Thief. Nah, you won't you won't beat Thief on any Necro spec. Um, not not against someone who's not terrible. Uh, Thief is a hard counter to Necro, especially this build. This build is obviously a Zerg build. That's really not going to work well. Oh wow, people are trading gold, Jester. Maybe it's time to buy. Jester will buy gold. I'm going in. Jester buys gold in Classic WoW. Oh. Well, I think we can do some stuff with Spectral here, can't we? It's time. Uh, but I can tell you the thing. Quickness DPS, play Herald. Healer, play Druid or Scourge. Alak DPS? Hmm. What is the best Alak DPS right now? Might actually be Scourge, to be honest. Or it's, it's definitely a good one um, to go with. Scourge or Spectre, probably. Really good. Uh, what's next? Uh, what's the, what are the other roles? I think that's basically all of them. And oh, then pure DPS? Pure DPS. The best overall pure DPS is probably... Hmm. Probably like Scourge or Virtuoso. Scourge, Virtuoso, and Reaper. Extremely good. Oh yeah, Soul Beast as well. Soul Beast is really good. Black. Boom. Man. I wish they did more jumping puzzles in Guild Wars 2. I like these. They're pretty high tier. What a classic, Chad. What a classic. We did it. There's the chest. I don't know what an armor is, Bastion. Yeah, I have. Yeah, where you climb up to the top. There's a little thing you can do here. You can actually skip to the next part. Oh, there we go. We did it. Splat. Hooray! Whoop. Oh, oh. There's an ooze up there, guys. Look at that. Ooze. Level one ooze. We ascend. How do you get the Catmander tag? Oh, it's like a vendor. Um, it's hidden in near here, actually, isn't it? You can just get it. Hooray! You ooze, you lose, chat. You ooze, you lose. And there we are. We have both halves of the key. Now you have to run around again and do the, uh, the opener again. Do you recommend focusing on any one civilization, for instance, Age of Empires? Um, I mean, it depends what your goals are. Like, what are your goals? To get good, then you should probably only play one. Uh, but you should learn about the others so you understand how they work. You need to understand how the others work, but if you want to get as good as possible, then yeah, you should play one. But make sure you understand, like, build orders and 
Um, the weaknesses of different factions in RTS is really important because you need to be able to punish. You need to... One of the things you need to understand in, in, in RTS is what your role is at the current time. It's when are you supposed to be attacking and when are you supposed to be defending? What stage of the game are you favored at and what stages of the game are you unfavored at? Um, like maybe the faction you have is a little weaker in the early game, but it's mid game is really good. Uh, maybe the late game is really good for your particular chosen faction, right? It's, it's stuff like that. Like that's the knowledge you need to have. There we are. Look at that. Beautiful. Dude, we nearly got the weekly done as well. Crazy. A good one for a new player, but finding it pretty boring. Hope it's uh, the spec and everything else uh, feels better. Try Herald. Herald's way more fun. Ah, uh, then Vindy. Need a map to do it. Um, I miss good old Simon ones. I well, I think the only Joe puzzle that I think is a little bit annoying is actually um, Searing Ascent, the one in Draconis Mons. I think that uh, Chalice of Tears, you can actually figure that one out pretty quickly. And I do like that they added some puzzle elements to it. Um, I think Siren's Landing is probably the optimal balance between the two. I think. Uh, Maybe it's a little bit too obvious where you're supposed to go on Siren's Landing, but and maybe Charles is a bit too unobvious where you're supposed to go, but um, yeah, I think they're both good. Yeah, Searing Ascent is no good in my opinion. It's um, it's too non-obvious what you're supposed to do. I, th I think that's that's not what you want. Sword of the Silverways, and that was a little bit too long to be honest. There's not enough jumping. It's more running, uh, really. I think that one's. It's all right. It's quite epic, I guess, uh, but I think it's not, not puzzly enough. Very nice. Did I get credit for this? I actually did. Nice. Boom. Five out of four dailies. Holy shit. That's crazy. Yeah, I do like Super Adventure Box. Super Adventure Box is extremely high tier. I am looking forward to Tribulation Mode, World 3. I really hope they have tribu they do Tribulation Mode. And it's also difficult. Tribulation Mode should break people. For World Vs, which class is the best DPS and support? I mean, it's... I feel like it's not that cut and dry to be honest like your go-to's for support in world versus what it's going to be firebrand and chronomancer right now for dps you really can't go wrong with revenant um or uh guardian necromancer obviously like big mainstays of um world versus what warrior 2 is very good um so yeah it's but it's pretty it, it, it's a little situational it, it's hard to say like what's the best right like everything is quite complementary and synergy oriented who in your friend circle do you think will totally break in World 3 Tribulation mode? Um, uh, I think Jester will break. Because he farmed all of the infusions from SAB World 2 Tribulation mode. And he actually did break there. He installed Blish uh, and did it with Blish. I consider that to be breaking. Uh, he'll break again when they do the same thing in Season 3. Very nice. Yeah. I installed Taco. Ah, oh, yeah, Taco. Because, um, fun fact, guys. I was chatting with Jester back in the day, and he said that he has a love of Taco, and he fully supports Tekkit's politics. He said that. It shocked me. It did. It did. It definitely, uh, it rattled me a little bit, but it is what it is. Like, that is, uh, that's his position. Yeah. yeah. Tekkit. Oh wait, do you not know, um, as yet unnamed? You don't know the Tekkit lore. Ah. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I am scared of Frodo Main Unscathed. Link him the Reddit post. Link him. Share the knowledge with him. Do not let him escape. All will be revealed. 
the Tekkit lore, it, it, and it, it is definitely deep lore, that's for sure. Very deep lore. Dude, at this game, what the fuck is going on? Nothing's going on here. I'm trying to get some World vs. World weeklies, and it's just, it's just impossible. It's literally impossible. I give up. I can't do it. Doesn't have the prison stuff. He's like incredibly racist. Uh, yes, he he is. Yes. Yeah. Then there's the prison stuff. That that was kind of. I think didn't Brazil find that angel? I think Brazil uncovered a lot of this really fucked up shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking did this fucking screenshot, man. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that was you. Ah, Angels was the detective. Interesting. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a fucking screenshot, man. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but. It's funny because of how absolutely, you know, you wouldn't have seen that one coming, would you? You know, it, it is incredibly unhinged. It's, uh, it, it, yeah, it's, it's something. Yeah. There's a lot more, by the way, guys. And I mean, there's a lot more. Like, that is, uh, that is very much the tip of the iceberg, as it were. Tip of the iceberg, chat. DPS is coming around in WoW Season 4. Hopefully heal and DPS, yeah. If I if I have a clear schedule and my real life is good to go, I might try and do title, Mythic Plus title, so top 0.1% on all three roles. Um, if I have the time. And it'll be probably me, Vivi... Go for that, maybe. And then, I don't know, it would have to be Snizzle, I guess, because Snizzle heals. So all three of us, we have to play... Well, I, get, I, I mean, Snizzle would have to just DPS. He wouldn't necessarily have to tank as well. Uh, we could, you know, just shuffle it around. Yeah. It's time. Do you like iceberg videos? I mean, they can be interesting, yes. Although I don't think I, I... Are you talking about... Like, I don't think I've actually watched many of those. I've seen Down the Rabbit Hole. Those are really interesting. Like, the EVE Online one was really good. Um, uh, but I'm not sure I've seen, like, the Iceberg videos. So I'm not totally sure. Here we go. What is the worst Guild Wars 2 deep lore by far? I, I, I know, you know, I'm just going to tease you guys. I know a piece of deep lore about PvP that is extremely funny, but also extremely unhinged. And to be honest, I'll probably never leak it until after this game is actually dead. Uh, like... <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of PvP stuff. Yeah, Angels is not wrong here. There's a lot of, like, very unhinged PvP stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No, it's not French Mafia. PvP wind training is only the tip. PvP wind training is actually the least interesting part. The, the PvP wind training is blown ludicrously out of proportion. Um, I actually saw a Reddit thread talking about PvP, and one of the top upvoted comments was, All top PvPers have been win trading for years. That is a hilarious statement, but it was upvoted. And to be honest, guys, you know, there are times where I actually feel a huge amount of motivation um, to... I, I want to help PvP, right? 
I, I, I do. You know, I go like, man, I love tournaments. I really like motor. I, I really want to help PvP. But then I look at the battle I'd have to fight. Because honestly, guys, dude, I could do a PvP tournament like every month if I wanted to. But the thing is, the reason why I don't do that is because battling the misinformation would be so draining on me that I honestly don't think I could do it. Seriously, I, 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 pff, I admit it. You'd have to pay me a lot of money, guys. You have to pay me a shit ton of money um, in order to m actually motivate me to fight, like, the tidal, the tsunami, the avalanche of extreme misinformation that is regularly repeated in the Guild Wars 2 community, especially on the forums and subreddit, right? I just, I, I, I just don't want to deal with that, to be honest. It's too much. If I was, maybe if I was a little younger, guys. If I was a little younger, you know, you know, a little bit more spring in my step, you know, my arthritis wasn't kicking in. Maybe I'd have the, the stomach for it, but now, I, I just don't think so, to be honest. I don't think I could do it. It's not worth it. That's the key thing. It's just not worth it. Yeah. I, I, I just, yeah. The amount of bullshit that just gets repeated on the subreddit about PvP by people who are clueless and have no idea what they're talking about is just painful. It really is. But hey. It is what it is, my friends. Degenerate players. I can handle the degenerate players. They're not so much of a threat. Uh, you just have to ban them. And I would just do that. I think I was way too soft in the past. Uh, like, I letting certain people play was just a huge mistake. Like, there, there are some people who are just, like, um, poison. You, you need to remove them. Like, it, it's, you can't, you can't build a healthy scene with certain individuals in it. It's just, it's a, you can't do it. You, you have to remove the cancer. Yeah. yeah, the apathy is also very draining. It's very uh, tough to deal with. Very frustrating. And to be honest, you know what? I'll admit this, guys. Okay? Um, do you know another really big problem for my motivation running tournaments in this game? And I'll fully admit this. Why would I run tournaments in this game when I can just do it in WoW? Where people are way better, way more competitive, and are nowhere near as cancerous to deal with. It's very hard for me to find motivation uh, to do it in Guild Wars 2. I'll, you know, I'll just get involved with the WoW scene instead, which is just, it's just better in every single way. It's indescribably superior in every possible respect. It will also just straight up be more profitable as well, which is uh, amusing, but it is what it is. Yeah. Post links? Yes. If you post links, you're good. Links. Biggest frustration I have is the sky scale that comes with both lead and crazy glue embedded into its feet. What damn flying dragon sinks like a whole riddled ship? At times I miss events because I'm trying to get up the damn plateau with the action taking place. Also, Arena has never fired this creatively inept developer designer of the, the Quaggan, including its most aggravating infantile voiceover. Surely high on meth played a part in this. For newcomers, many maps are like vacant parking lots. What is worse, when newcomers who do not have flying yet lose no events because everyone flies to the destination, destroys the boss, or completes the event before the new even gets to take place. I mean, is that really unhinged? I think the sky scale is actually a really unfun mount to use. Uh, there's, there's only some... I, I, this guy hates Quaggans. I mean, I don't think they're... I don't really... I mean, whatever. Okay, fair enough. But, I mean, yeah. I, I think that um, if you don't have the sky scale, playing open world is annoying. If you don't have mounts, open world is actually really annoying. I think that's a very legitimate complaint. It's just accurate, no? Um, yeah. If you don't have the mount, you will fall behind other people because they're all fly hacking and you can't fly hack. Yes, absolutely. This 100% happens. Ah. Ah, you are the chosen one. Very good. 
The Beetle is the most fun mount, yes. The Sky Scale is one of the least fun mounts, but yeah, the Beetle is insane. They should remove all other mounts except the Beetle. Dragon Riding in WoW is better than Guild Wars 2 mounts. I don't think it's as good as the Beetle and the uh, and the Griffin, but it's much better than the Sky Scale. Yeah, Dragon Riding is way better than the Sky Scale. Sky Scale fucking sucks. Just to get the Raptor? Yeah, that's honestly smart. Like, the, the Raptor, when it comes to, like, just general play, it's really gonna help. Just keeping up with the Zergs and stuff like that. Better than Griffin with its variable speed. I mean, I feel like the Griffin is really fun, though. Like, you, you're you so fast. It's also very dynamic, right? You fly up, you fly down. I think it's pretty hype, to be honest. I quite like the, uh, I like the Griffin. Is the Sand Wolf useless? Well, not really, because you still need it to get into, like, secret areas, don't you, right? With the little portals. But, I mean, yeah, obviously, its utility has it's been a little bit reduced. My inventory is full. It doesn't feel good. It does not feel good, chat. What do we need for the weekly? Just some world XP. Yeah, okay, that's, that's free. It is world XP time. Mount's the only way to make the uh, the game worse. Yeah, I'm not really a mount enjoyer. Espe honestly, weirdly enough, especially in Guild Wars 2. Because Guild Wars 2 is already really good at little jumping puzzles and stuff like that. And like leaping around with abilities. Like lots of skills have mobility on them and stuff. I think it's really fun to do jumping puzzles and leap around and do the parkour with your abilities. It's it, I fucking love this in New World, man. Dude. One of my favorite things to do in New World was doing all the crazy jumping puzzles with climbing. Like, I say this every time, guys, that um, New World comes up. Climbing needs to be a mandatory feature in all MMOs. From, from now until the rest of time, okay? That is reality. Climbing needs to be added to the game. It was actually so cool. You could climb up. You could use the life staff to jump. You could do like a running leap into a roll to like cross gaps. You could use weapon skills to leap over stuff. Man, that was... The movement in that game was really fun, actually. The movement in New was really fun. It was a bit rough around the edges and it needed some improvement, but it was actually really cool. I liked it a lot. It's, it's, it's Again, it's very similar to Guild Wars 2 in that respect, right? Like the character movement was fun. I think that was, uh, that was an important part of that game. It's something that I'd want to see in a new MMO. New MMO needs climbing. There it is. Boom. Has to have climbing. Lifestaff? Dude, Lifestaff was fun. The, the, Lifestaff kind of had to die because it was mandatory on every single build. Especially when you had three weapons and you could package it in really easily. Um, because the mobi mobility... In, I think they could have fixed it by adding mobility to other weapons. In general, mobility was extremely low in New World. You didn't really... Like, if you had a leap, it would take you, like, six feet in front of you. It was, like, nothing. Uh, and Life Staff was the only, like, hyper-mobile ability, so it was mandatory on every build. Uh, it, di it also didn't help that it was disgustingly broken in terms of the self-sustain it could give you and the sustain to allies. That's another, t that's another thing, right? That's a different thing entirely, but um, yeah, it, it had to go. But they could have fixed it in other ways by making other things more mobile. Also swimming for sure. Um, honestly, I, I will agree that they should have added swimming, but I will also 100% say this. Not having swimming in that game did not negatively impact the gameplay in any particularly meaningful way. It's, it's a complaint that I find frustrating because I think it's a dumb and petty complaint. Um, but yeah, they should have added swimming. It was very foolish to not do that for precisely this reason. It's just not a good look, right? Like it looks weird if you just walk underwater. It just doesn't look good. Did it affect gameplay? Absolutely not. If you removed swimming from Guild Wars 2, it would barely change the game in any kind of meaningful way, realistically. Um, I and mean, hell, they even actively removed it from World vs. Wood and PvP because it was just annoying and it wasn't good. Um, so yeah, whatever. On uh, Wrestler Shore. I guess it was a little bit annoying on Wrestler Shore because you had to run the long way around, basically. But, yeah, it wasn't that bad. F 
fishing in this game is far better than Guild Wars 2. I actually never really tried the fishing because I'm not really much of a fishing player. But yeah, I think the gathering in that game was pretty cool. Like going up to a rock and mining it was fun. Mine the rock. Chop the tree. Playing music. Yeah, I've seen the minigame for that. It, they added that after I quit the game, but pretty cool minigame, I guess. You made 400 gold from fishing in uh, Vanilla WoW. Yeah, that's because fishing in Vanilla WoW is open world PvP. It's literal pure PvP. I have probably made people uninstall the game while fishing in Vanilla, and it feels insanely good. I saw this uh, no mage. No mage fishing, guys. I walk up to him. Instant one shot. Storm strike lava lash. I break him within seconds. He respawns five times in a row and attempts to disrupt my fishing. I break him within seconds every single time. And it feels good. Level 38, Night Elf Druid comes up to me. Doesn't attack. Waves. Starts fishing at the same spot that I'm fishing at. Instant death. Annihilation. Pure PvP. Yeah, I mean, Vanilla WoW has open world PvP. So if Alliance show up, uh, you can just kill them. And then they can't take your fish. It's very good. It's the kind of stuff that would have made New World good. This is, this is why open world PvP cannot be opt-in. Open world PvP is worthless unless it is an opt-in. Because otherwise, let's say that you're fishing in open world, guys, right? Well, you kill someone who's fishing, and they just go back to town, opt out, and now you can't do anything. Right? You literally have zero counterplay to them just, like, stealing all of your fish, basically. You cannot end them. You cannot break them in any way. You can't force them to log out of the game, basically. And that's dog shit. Yeah. That's not good. I think that uh, open world PvP turns like gathering and fishing into an insanely good and exciting activity. They can just get sharded. Yeah, um, and that's actually a bad thing about um, uh, SOD for sure. I don't like layers. The ideal MMO doesn't have layers. It's like New World where there's only one copy of the world uh, for sure, yes. I think that um, uh, layering is... Kind of scuffed, to be honest, um, overall, and definitely not ideal. Nice. How do you get around having thousands of players on at the same time? Well, it's a bit of a tricky one, but I guess at the end of the day, uh, you don't. That's essentially the situation with uh, New World, right? I think the cap was like 2,000 players on each uh, server. Big. Nice bags. Yeah, I guess I need to get some of those 32 slot ones. I actually have 2.5k tokens, so I guess I could get some. Um, yeah, what else do you need? You need you still need the runes of holding, but yeah, I could pick up a 32 slot bag, actually. It'd be pretty nice. Very nice. Oh, Vivi just sent me a message. He says that he wants to play Org in Season 4. That's a bit weird, actually. Ah, yeah. Bolstering. Yeah, I'm going to be running away from those, Vivi. We're, uh, I'm not tanking that. That is a I'm going to run away moment. Todd said that in Fallout 76 you wouldn't even notice that you're playing on a, on a server. Ah, yes. Todd Howard, well known for always telling the truth. Right? Guys, name the most honest game developer of all time.
Todd Howard without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, what's it? Yeah, man. Honestly, I, I actually don't know about um, the over don't know that much about Overwatch 2, but from what I have heard, like, bro. I how did they do such a bad job? Like that in and of itself is fascinating to me. It really is. It is so unbelievably interesting. Um that uh how, how that went down. Remarkable. You know, it, it's so interesting to me that a billion dollar company like Blizzard can utterly fail. But they did it twice with um, Warcraft 3 Reforged. You know, Jester says that Battlefield 42 is the worst game of all time. I completely disagree with that. I think Warcraft uh, Reforged is far worse than Battlefield 42. That is, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst game ever made. Not even close. It is... An absolute abomination. Um, it's an example of what not to do. It is the worst video game ever made. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, look, you have. N <laughs> you are actually clueless. You guys are clueless if you think Warcraft 3 Reforge is not the worst game ever made. Like, you guys really think that Battlefield 2042 is worse? Like, this game is fucking dog shit. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. I guess what's good about Warcraft 3 Reforged is that you can still play the original. So maybe there is that. Maybe that actually prevents it from being the worst game ever made. Is that? Well, although, they tried to take, take it away. They tried to make it so you couldn't play Warcraft 3. They made it so you had to play the old version through the new version, basically through the new client. So they tried to prevent you from doing that. Um, you, you know, you had to play on the new servers, basically, which were not good, by the way. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, how do you have guild tag? It's simple world versus world nameplates. It's just an in-game setting. Kojima retweets thirst picks on his main. Honestly, that's very based. You know, I'm just going to say it, guys. If you make an alt to retweet thirst picks, that's kind of cowardice, actually. Uh, that, that, to me, says that you, you're ashamed in some way, you know? Like, you're embarrassed to be doing it. And that means I think you have to kind of reevaluate your life. But if you're, you know, you're the, yeah, I'm a fucking kuma, right? Uh, just do it. And no problem with that, right? I think, uh, you know, you know, you've got to own it. You got if you if you want to be a Kuma, I think you've got to own it, guys. For example, my entire WoW guild, they constantly post images of their night elves and blood elves that they like to play dress up with. They own that shit. They are blatant Kumas and they, you know, they're at peace with that. They're, they're mentally at peace. Yeah. Hmm. That's reality here. What's this uh, video? What we got to... Fallout 3 has 200 endings. Uh, um, <clears throat> everything gets a bit big, so as of last week, we're over 200 endings. <laughs> that is not an exaggeration, <laughs> but it does uh, deserve some description. Okay, so, please. You know, yeah. Yeah, you're like, 200 <laughs> endings. Uh, that's <laughs> a lie of some kind. Nonsense. Um, yeah. So, you know, originally when we started, we had, you know, there are various iterations of the end. <laughs> That's such a fucking unhinged statement. That's insane. Like, we... <laughs> 200 endings. Okay, okay. Very interesting. Yeah. How do you deal with that, Jester? Wait, hang on. I haven't played Fallout 3. Chat, please tell me how many endings Fallout 3 had. I guarantee you it was less than 200 because that is an insane claim. Uh, but, I like, how... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> probably 200. <laughs> Dude, look, what, what game there would unironically say the game has 200 endings? I feel like even games like Baldur's Gate 3 and Divinity don't have 200 endings. They have like a lot of different endings and things can definitely go like a, a, a couple of different ways, but like, it's not 200. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Holy shit. All these guys just died. Yeah. Very nice. Bigger number, better game. That is true. You know, to us, I don't think having, like, multiple endings is really actually a huge deal, to be honest. Like, Divinity Original Sin 2 only has... It only really has... Well... I guess, no, that's not really true. Like, the story is mostly the same no matter what you do. It's like, the story opens out and then it converges at the end, right? Like, no matter what you do, basically the same thing is going to happen, but kind of different a little bit, uh, depending on, like, how you play and, you know, what, what characters, you know, what decisions you make. I don't agree with this, but it's a banger. Wait, hang on. I need to not play this because I'm going to get copy struck on fucking YouTube. Dude, they're really good at the copy striking, man. Like, that- just playing that for two seconds might have actually already fucked this entire VOD, which is kind of annoying. Nice. Copper. Yeah. I do like, uh, Borpa in general. Do you guys like Borpa? What are your thoughts on, uh, Borpa? What do you guys think? Yeah. Borpa. Apparently, Balls Gate 3 DLC got cancelled because they're making Divinity Original Sin 3. Oh, well, that, well... Okay. You know what's actually really interesting? Um, I think people were really upset that there's no Baldur's Gate 3 DLC. And I, I think there was like some corporate reasons why that ended up not happening. But in some ways, I feel like sometimes no DLC is a good thing. You know, sometimes a game doesn't need anything added to it. Especially a kind of single player experience. Well, you know what I mean, right? Like not, a, not an infinite live service game, like a non-live service game. Sometimes you don't need any more. Honestly, sometimes the game is fine as it is, outside of maybe fixing bugs and tuning and all that kind of stuff. How about microtransactions in a single-player game? I think MTX in a single-player game is some of the most vile shit imaginable. I believe that- isn't there some controversy, actually, with, um, what's the game? Dragon's Dogma 2, I believe? They've got some, like, MTX bullshit, uh, in that game, and I think that's like a-, a I guess it's like an RPG-style thing, uh, that's going on. Yeah, you honestly hate to see that. The one that really upset me was uh, Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3 has uh, microtransactions in a single-player game. I believe uh, Ubisoft also um, uh, has a lot of microtransactions in single-player games. I believe the Assassin's Creed stuff has MTX in single-player. It's actually insane. It horrifies me. Yeah. This is what happens, man, when Total Biscuit dies of cancer, right? This is what happens, dude. This is our punishment. This is the entire universe punishing us for not curing cancer uh, in time for Total Biscuit to survive. You honestly hate to see it. Capcom has a lot of MTX bloat now, but uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is decent. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the franchise, so but I know people are not up, not happy with it. We have puns of zero to hero. Uh, boy, just like some farming and figuring out what you're supposed to do to make money these days in this game. Dude, I've already got 1.2k wizard coins. Man, you get so many wizard coins. It's ridiculous. It's actually insane. Holy shit. We're getting rich. Let's uh, go do something else. Dragon's Dog Shit 2 is further black me hard on AAA games. Oh wait, is Dragon's End going right now? It actually is. Okay, I'm gonna get a Dragon's End going, guys. It's probably gonna be Dragon's End and then probably doing some keys. Is there a- let's see if there's a map going. There should be. Ah, here we go. Okay, guys. Pug Dragon's End and then it's keys. Keys. Void Worm. Ooh, speaking of worms, I have to go see uh, Dune, actually, very soon.
Let's go. I need to get out of combat and get involved in all these uh, these events. What are these subgroups? What's the situation here, guys? What's going on here? Yeah. Uh, what are your plans to zero here? I literally already answered that. Uh, figuring out gold farming and doing some guild activities. Dorky is defiling 15 Aldermen right now, and it feels bad. Yeah, because they have I mean, they have dog shit gear, right? And um, everything is like the tuning is going to be a bit off, almost certainly. What's the problem with PvP again? I was AFK. Um, the problem with PvP and Guild Wars 2 is that it's dead. That's its only problem. Um, why do I not want to invest in it? Um, two reasons. I think that investing it will not actually help the scene. And... I think people know this about me, but I, I don't, if I don't think that I can actually make a difference and improve it, I won't bother. Um, and that's how I feel about PvP right now. I think that even if I do everything in my power to do it, I don't think it will change a damn thing. Um, about PvP in Guild Wars 2, and so I don't really view it as a particularly good investment of my time when there's other areas where I think I can improve things and actually do something that's useful, uh, pretty much. But the that's, that's like one thing. But the second reason is um, there's just so much misinformation uh, on Guild Wars 2 social media, sp particularly the Reddit and the forums, that in order to actually improve PvP, you'd actually have to combat that misinformation. And honestly, that's a battle that's simply not worth it for me. Like, could I go for a video and, and you know, try and explain all the misinformation? Yes, but it would just be so miserable. And, what, well, dude, this guy's name is actually Cormier. That's crazy. Uh, it just wouldn't be fun. If the Void manages to prop the Siege Turtles... That would be highly problematic. Please, you must save the You're going back and forth? Well, I go back and forth because I like running tournaments. Um, I like running tournaments. And I'd do it if I was getting paid to do it. Defend the hatchlings. Yeah. But I'm not. I feel, the, I feel the same way about uh, tournaments and PvE. I like doing tournaments and stuff like that, but it's a huge amount of effort for no payoff. Um, uh, especially seeing as, like, there are just other games that kind of give me what I want. The, the truth is, guys, let me speak very selfishly here for a moment. Like, for a very long time, a lot of my actions in Guild Wars 2, they've been kind of aimed, and this is true of streaming and YouTube, I've tried to make things that I think will make the game a better place. Um, but they haven't really been, well, what do I find personally rewarding, right? Uh, and I want to be a little bit more selfish. Right now, running these tournaments is not personally rewarding for me anymore. It definitely used to be, but it just isn't now. Because it doesn't generate the outcome I want. Like, um... Uh, like, if if running a tournament isn't going to grow the scene, then I'm not getting anything out of it, and that's not good enough. I don't I don't want to do it, basically. Uh, there will be Ready Chuck Cup 4, because I said there will be. Uh, and I am a man of my word. It will happen, and it will be good, uh, because I say so. Uh, but, to be honest, I'd just rather... Um, uh, I, I'd rather invest in the scene in another game at this point. Like, the Guild Wars 2 competitive scene is not really worth my time, if I'm being completely honest with you. That's going to sound a little bit harsh, but it's also 100% accurate. Yeah. And it has to be one of these two things. Like, there are two ways in which the Guild Wars 2 competitive scene can be worth my time. First of all, money. If I get paid enough, then fuck it. I'll do it, because I enjoy doing it. But the other one, if, if, I don't, if I'm not getting paid, then I have to think that the scene is going to improve. Uh, and I definitely held that belief for a long time. I really felt that Mota was making the scene better. And it did, actually. Like, uh, Master of the Arena 1 single-handedly actually kind of fixed a lot of the beef between a lot of players, funnily enough. I think people really kind of, you know, became friends after that, at least a little bit more. I think it was really good for the scene. Um, but 
it became like as things moved on it just it, 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 forces outside of my control were something that i was i was not able to realistically combat uh, in particular just like the the scene just dwindling and festering pretty much sounds like another dragon great not to worry uh, go for monthies now in the polar opposite. Wait, no, no. I'm talking very specifically about tournaments, Green Death. I probably will try and win the monthly actually, because uh, I think it's quite. It's it's not super difficult right now because like I think people aren't really playing that much, so you know it, it's something I can just have like going on on the side, and it should be pretty doable, I think. Um, I'm talking about tournaments specifically. May we please borrow some of your sea turtles? Of course. It's the least I can do after you save the hatch. Yeah. One turtle strike coming right up. Quickly, let's clear the rubble and make way for the sea turtles. Perfect to the fundamental foundation of MLPGs. I'm not actually even sure if I agree with that. Like that's that's not what I would say. I think Guild Wars 2 is the better game, um, but WoW has the better scene, that's for sure. And a lot of the times with MMOs, that can be more important than anything else. Because at what point does having a better scene make your game a better game, right? That's uh, kind of an important factor to consider, I think. Yup. Yeah. It's turtle time. It's turtle time. Not supporting dungeon definitely was the worst mistake. Um. I wouldn't agree with that. I would say not calling fractals dungeons was the biggest mistake they could have done. And also, not locking content behind expansions in some way was a big mistake. The fact that fractals are core game... The, the content systems for Guild Wars 2 are extremely badly laid out. The fact that all fractals are core game, in other words, they are completely free to play, is extremely bad. Uh, it means that making a new fractal essentially means that they have to give it away for free. I think one of the smartest things Anet could do is add a new tier of fractals that is locked to an expansion. That is to say that when they add tier 5 fractals, you can only do tier 5 fractals if you own the most recent expansion. Um, this is one of the biggest problems, uh, that Arena has had, in my opinion, is the, their inability to sell their video game. They're working on it now with, you can see that changing the model away from Living World, they are now trying to sell their video game. But bear in mind, that's now, like, ten years after launch. Only now are they figuring out how to sell their video game. Uh, which, if you think about it, is, you know, quite the mistake in a, you know, a, a business. Yeah. The blue play fractals aren't uh, free to play, though. Um, this is true, but it doesn't make the people who are... It, you don't have to pay for that. All of the people who are playing the content got it for free. Even the people who own the um, expansion, they didn't pay for that fractal, right? That fractal was given away for free, if that makes any sense. But, you know, the same could not be said for raids, by the way. Raids, you do pay for. You can't raid unless you have HOT and POF. You can't do strike missions unless you have, um, you, know, um, you know, EOD, SOTA, whatever. Right? Like, that is paid content. Fractals are not paid content. They're bundled for free with anyth any other package in the game. You don't pay for them specifically. It's not an implication that newer fractals need to be given away for free. It's not an implication. It is a fact that they have to give them away for free. It, it is a factual statement. They are free. It's not an implication. Yeah. But I doubt it would make a big difference. I think you'd be surprised, honestly. I mean, probably not now, but back then, yes. Like, bear in mind, we had no fractal for what? Four years? Guys, we had no... Guys, our MMORPG had no new dungeon for four years. Think about that. 
Uh, new ones have to be so they can make part of the DLCs. Uh, not really, though, because, um, no, they can't. They can't do that. Because what happens um, when there's an LFG doing fractals and only three of the people in that group have the relevant expansion? Blech. I think you run into some really tricky situations uh, if if you do that without an entire system essentially being um, behind an expansion. So is the Jade Brotherhood base. And we've cleared the observatory. Orane's here and we can see the Harvest Temple. I'm going to focus my prismatic energy at the barrier. Prismatic energy? Oh my god. Hold up. We've got void popping up all around us. Gray it out. Well, you'd have to then have a different LFG for different fractals. What about the daily system? What happens when um, fractals from different expansions are in the daily system? You'd have to very fundamentally change it, right? Yep. Is it why they started strike missions? It's why they've moved a lot of... Um, uh, so, for example, uh, now when you buy the expansion, you're buying the story for the full year, but you buy the expansion every year, yeah? Basically... Everything they're doing right now is very much you pay for the content. Which, by the way, guys, this is not a criticism. I, in fact, this is something I would praise. I despise microtransactions. I think they are a genuine blight on the gaming industry that just make games worse. Um, however, I will, you know, and therefore I will absolutely praise when a video game says... If you pay money, we'll give you content. Money for content, I think, is the absolute best business model that exists for any MMO. So I'm one million percent on board with the ReadNet's new approach of saying, give us money, we give you content. That's what I like to see. That is a million percent what I think is the, the correct way to do game dev uh, and do business. Yeah. They're missing- you get a core version of the daily? Yeah, but that's very different when it's a solo activity versus a group activity, yeah? Fractals are a group activity, which makes it way more complicated. It just is this really weird situation where you could have players looking for a group, but they can't join each other because they don't own the same expansion. It's very weird. Uh, but they're in the same system. Like, they're in the same system, but they're really not. Which is why they, you know, you need to actually completely separate them a bit more, in my opinion. Move the problem one X pack ahead. They'll have to give up the new fractal people who brought the previous X pack. I think it would need more work. I mean, yeah, I, I agree. It's actually a really tough problem um, because of the nature of how fractals work. Because fractals are kind of this weird thing. Um, it will be it would be very difficult. Yeah, but maybe you could do tier five fractals for one expansion. Then you have another. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to expand. Like fractals are a bit fucked to be honest. Like the way they're designed from the ground up is is not good. To be honest. The, the real solution is copy-pasting Mythic Plus from Retail World of Warcraft. I hate to say it, but Mythic Plus is just a better version of Fractals. Like, that is the cold, hard reality, guys. Um, Fract uh, Fractals kind of inspired Mythic Plus. Blizzard took it and made it better. Um, I hate to say it. The Guild Wars 2, uh, you know, cult might be upset with me for saying that, but it's a million percent true. Uh, Blizzard did it better. Uh, and I think Guild Wars 2 should take it back. Uh, they should steal Mythic Plus and add it to Guild Wars 2. Uh, that would be a really exciting... Um, uh, it would be a really exciting thing. Actually, adding a something like that could be really cool, I think. I'd love to see that in Guild Wars. It feels like people discuss Guild Wars 2 more how can it be through than playing the games, which is a big issue. I don't think so. I think that's the opposite of an issue. Uh, I actually think that Guild Wars 2 actually has the... Um, Guild Wars 2 has the opposite problem. I think people don't care anymore. Um, this is one of the reasons why I feel so alienated from Guild Wars 2. People don't give a shit um, anymore. People have given up. It's like, yeah, acceptance phase. It's over. Like, it... Uh, no. I, I think... Um, one of the most important things, especially about a live service game, is that players need to be saying, this is garbage, make it better. I think that's one of the most important things. People need to care uh, about your game. And I, I, I think that um, people kind of don't care 
uh, about Guild Wars 2. Not as much as they used to, anyway. I think it's really bad. Um, yeah, people need, people caring is good. You you never want people to not care. Uh, Lara and Emmy chat. Well, I mean, you know, they like to keep it PMA. I respect it. What are the main differences? So you have to clear a certain amount of the trash. So there's kind of like this pathing feature where you have to clear like the trash in the fastest way possible um it's infinitely scaling as well that's the other thing and it has a timer those are the big things and in terms of systemically they're dungeons so it's basically attached to an expansion essentially so all of the dungeons that m plus comes from they're attached to an expansion that is sold for money uh, and they just mix it up. Basically, like, a, a season of Mythic Plus has eight dungeons, and the dungeons change every season, basically. So it will be at eight different ones, and, some of it, and it will be from old expansions too, which is a very clever approach, by the way. Um, they'll take an old dungeon, kind of juice it up a little bit and modernize it a bit, and then throw it into M+. Wow is 99% combat, or is Guild Wars 2 as puzzles and traversal? Um, I, I think that WoW has that as well. Definitely not as much, although I'd like to see more of it, to be honest. Um, but WoW absolutely has traversal uh, in it. Like, um, movement, positioning, warlock gateways, uh, skips, little weird jumping puzzles you can do, right? Moving fast is really important. Like, movement speed is absolutely relevant. Like, uh, chaining packs together is very, very relevant. Like, pulling trash onto the boss is very, very relevant. Like, it's definitely more combat focused than, um, Guild Wars 2, that's for sure. I think that's definitely right, but there's definitely a lot of movement to it. I'd like to see more of that, though, in WoW, rather than less. I'd prefer Emblem's focus on speedrunning plus 20s. Um, I mean, you can do that. Play MDI, right? That's basically what MDI is. Personally, I think pushing higher keys is more interesting um, because it's. I think it's difficult in a more interesting way, to be honest. Um, but I think MDI is fun too. I definitely want to play MDI as well, for sure. Um, what we could be rather than, wow, this is what we got, is always something, hmm, this could be better than what is the point of playing? Uh, I mean, if you feel that way, you shouldn't play. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't disagree. I definitely don't disagree. You are not wrong. Hell yeah. Plunge. Plunge. When fractals used to be infinite. Uh, with Reverend Power Cut and Service and a cool offensive, still support you about HS. Is what investing to? Yeah, it's giga good. It's one of the strongest builds in the game. Renji is God. Renji is the best Guild Wars 2 player. Here we go. Uh, make their game better, but we get so many good casual games in MLB, they can't even land that spot. I, I, I mean, guys, I don't want to meme a little bit here, but WoW has 7 million subscribers. They're doing okay. They're doing all right, guys. I, I, I think they landed their spot in the casual MMO territory. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah. I can't be certain, but that's quite a big number. And Guild Wars 2 is also very popular. It absolutely has its space in the gaming industry. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know why we're... I, I, I think I, I need to actually... Guys, is this my mission? Wait. Is it time for my mission to be to actually shut down the MMOs are in a bad spot circle jerk? Is that my calling in life? Because I feel like there's quite a lot of this about that like MMOs are in a bad spot. 
but I feel like that's kind of insane. Like, Guild Wars 2 is really good right now. WoW is really good right now. Vanilla and Classic. Uh, Final Fantasy, I think, is in a bit of a bumpy spot, but it's probably still a great game. And I'm sure when the expansion comes out, it will be all good. Um, like, ESO is going uh, just fine as well. Like, hell, like, Riot's working on an MMO. Like, New World is honestly not even bad. I mean, actually... I think that game's in a rough spot as well, but like the big ones, like RuneScape's doing really well currently. Um, yeah, like I feel like there's a lot of a lot of good MMOs that exist right now. Yeah, like RuneScape, Guild Wars, WoW, ESO, Final Fantasy. I don't know, like it seems like games are pretty good. And hell, like Eve is still going, Albion is still going for the slightly more niche, slightly uh, stranger games, right, as well. Um, you know, for something that's a little bit more out there, is, is those two which are doing all right. My pleasure. New MMOs are failing. I mean, for sure. I mean, the thing is, there aren't that many new ones. That's why they're failing. And it's just very hard to compete with established MMOs because of their very nature. Yeah, honestly, like, the WoW sub is kind of crazy value. You get Season of Discovery and Retail and Classic Era and, of course, Wrath of the Lich King and Cataclysm coming up very soon and Hardcore, which is like a solo cell found hardcore thing. It's kind of like a subset of Classic, but, I mean, it's something, right? It's pretty high value, to be honest. We must save her yeah. From herself. Meet me at the temple. Classic Cataclysm. Yes. Yeah, and fucking Plunderstorm as well, man. <laughs> That's true. Get a whole, like, BR game on top of it, right? How crazy is that? That is crazy. Ensure you don't leave the ecosystem, you get bored, you move off to another version. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a really core cool strategic part of what they're doing with Classic, right? You beat the vanilla, co and you can see how they're staggering the content, right? Uh, season of Retail is ending, they hit you with Plunderstorm. They hit you with Season of Discovery Phase 3. Then they're hitting you with WoW Season 4. Um, you know, uh, they're, they're hitting you with all these different things. They've got the Solo Sample, you've got the Hardcore, right? You've got Cataclysm Classic coming up before the next Retail WoW expansion. People are going to go play that, right? Yeah, there's a huge amount of, like, variety that you can do. Yeah. yeah. Didn't compare as much? I'm not sure if that's actually true. I, 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 I kind of want to... Kind of challenge you on your premise here. Um, I do not think that complaining about video games is a bad thing. I think it's precisely the opposite. I think one of the number one signifiers of a dead game or a game that's in trouble is that people stop complaining and stop caring. Like, if you can go to a subreddit or a forum and there's that one guy who says blizzard you need to fix your fucking game right this second that is an incredibly healthy sign of your game like your game ain't dead as long as there's at least a couple of people doing that um about the place yeah apathy is the the you know the death rattle of games like, when people stop caring, and they're not interested in the discussion anymore, and- Oh, dude, I'm not- I need to be on the boss! Yeah. Comparison to Thief of Joy? I don't think so. No, I- I don't- I don't think necessarily. I think- I think the thing about comparison being the Thief of Joy, I think that's very much- The, the way I would uh, apply that, um, kind of quote would be entirely when you're talking about, like, yourself. Like, if you compare yourself to others, I think that can be dangerous. But I don't think, um, I, I don't think in terms of, like, comparing other games from each other. I think it can be overwhelmingly positive, in fact. Because you can go, man, this game's got a really cool feature. Wouldn't it be cool if this game had a really cool feature as well? Like, or, or talking about, like, oh, how could we make this game better? How could this game be improved? Huge. I don't think it's bad human nature to compare. Quick, stand around the impact side. Boom. I'm going in. I'm going in. I didn't make it. It's over. Yeah, you can cast Chaos Bolt. Play SOD with us, X. Join us. What's your favorite uh, line from this Madamissa streamer? I would say it's hit her. Hit her hard. 
That's some, like, fucking poetry right there from Marine Net. Cause the negative feelings and adaptations to a game? Does the game feel so personal the comparison is almost to oneself? Uh, I mean, I think it can be. Uh, and, like, I think you can definitely have a really negative relationship with a game. And I think a lot of the people who are kind of like MMO cultists... But, I mean, look at me. I compare games constantly. Do I look like I, I'm, I'm having a really bad time playing Guild Wars 2 or WoW? Or both? Or all of them? I wouldn't say so. Accepted? Yeah, that's actually one of the reasons that I don't really... I don't give a shit about PvP either. It's because no one cares. Which I realize is ironic, seeing as what I, saying as I just said that I don't care. But yeah, nobody gives a shit. Um, so, who cares? It, it's... yeah. yeah. One of the things that I like the most about playing WoW, and the least about playing Guild Wars 2, is that... When I play WoW, I'm surrounded by people who are excited to log into the game every day. I like that. I miss that in Guild Wars 2. It used to be that way, especially in World vs. World. But now, nah. It's not like that. That's what I really miss. Jagex is popping off. What do we got here? Uh, Mod Mark. I will personally be hunting down all RuneFest ticket touts and cancelling all their bought tickets. It's unscrupulous, and Jagex won't stand for it. If you see any, let me know. <laughs> what the fuck? That's pretty... That's, yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> that is pretty based. Incredible. RuneScape is objectively the worst game. Thanks to Nostalgia and Sunk Cost as a permanent audience of demented gamers. I like that. That's a, also a very base take from Nike. Do you know what thing? There is something to be said for RuneScape though, Nike. Because you know what's really interesting about RuneScape? I think it's very similar to Guild Wars 2. And what, what I mean by that, it's very um, second monetary, right, is RuneScape. They're, they're not always. If you do like the PVM stuff, there's some like really high intensity stuff. If you want to do stuff like Inferno Cape, it's like... It takes ages to do Inferno Cape, right? It's like really, really long. It's like you have to be focused for a very long time to get through all the waves and stuff. Um, and then beat the final boss. But um, like, I feel like RuneScape does it really well. It's, you can kind of have it going on a second monitor. You know, you can just be progressing, right? And like farming and like leveling up your skills and shit. Uh, and I think a lot of players like that. I think people like Guild Wars 2 for the same reason. Is that you don't really have to pay a lot of attention to the game. Uh, and you can still make a lot of progress by kind of doing nothing in a lot of ways. Just like being there, like showing up. Yeah. And of course, if you want to be a RuneScape tryhard, you absolutely can. Like, you know, you can be optimizing server ticks, right? Like, you can be doing all of, like, the really hard PV, uh, PVM stuff. You can also go for the open world PvP that's, like, uh, semi-full loot as well. Or, you know, there's, I think there's all sorts of stuff you can, you can do. I, I, don't, I think RuneScape does what it does pretty well. It's got a pretty clear design vision, and it executes on that. Boom. I will go after her. As a casual MOG runes going to destroy Guild Wars 2. You know, look, in the same way that I don't really stand for the um the anti WoW circle jerk in my audience, I am saying, Mr. Mirror, you are in danger of entering the anti Guild Wars 2 circle jerk. I mean, if you don't like Guild Wars 2, you know honestly, that's totally fair. That you know that there's nothing wrong with that position. And you know what? I get it. There's lots of things that I don't really terribly enjoy about this game, especially its modern incarnation, but I, I, come on. Guild Wars 2 is a good game. At the end of the day, Guild Wars 2 is a good game. It does what it does pretty well. Uh, I think that a lot of people love the game. I think there's, you know, for good reason as well.
Like we do, we, I don't really want an anti Guild Wars 2 circle jerk uh, here. Or an anti any MMO circle jerk. Oh! Ben Shapiro destroys Guild Wars 2 with facts and logic. True. Very true. Here we go. Who is Ben Shapiro? Ben Shapiro is a conservative political commentator. I guess is be an accurate description of him. Oh, we didn't get the CC. Let's go. It is time to revive. I want a discussion about the problem with uh, Strike Norma as well as CMs, which is set on Sarah CM, which is good, need more. Honestly, it wasn't that good. I was feeling very fucking drained that day. I was quite low energy. But yeah, I will. I'll, I'm going to get a tea time together at some point. We'll talk about it. But after all the Sarah stuff is done. Do not fear your state. Do Let's go. Not it's climbing. With hey, Tonga Truck Connoisseur and Zero Proxy. Thanks for the subs, guys. Appreciate it. Keep them coming. More subs. Did the sub count. Down to 533, guys. It's over. I'm a dead streamer now, and it feels bad. I haven't gone through Sarah's thing a bit refreshed. Let's find some challenging stuff. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. That's how I feel. There you go. Enjoy. But I will admit, I don't want to get into this because this is just going to come off badly, but I, I don't... I'm not feeling like mega energized for the game right now, but I, I, I don't think that's coming back, to be honest. But that's okay, right? Like, you know, uh, that doesn't... That's not an indictment on the game, really. That's just more, more of like where I'm at and what I'm looking for in, in games. It's not enough for me. Uh, like, uh, it, it's it's not enough for me. But is it good? Absolutely. It is really cool, yeah. And I hope they do more. But is it enough for me to get really energized about Guild Wars 2? Nah. It's not. Ah. Let's go. What's the time? We have nine minutes left. Okay, we're not going to fail Dragon's End. That's the good news. That is the good news. Me, CC. Are we going to fail CC again? No, we're not. That would have been truly tragic if that had happened. What the fuck? Bosses are glitching out. The fuck is the boss doing? What is going on? Because it's a breath of fresh air. Oh yeah, it definitely is. It's a really different experience, which is very nice actually. Some learnings in the Soto follow-up. To improve the game, add non-opt-out open world PvP. Actually, credit where it's due, Guild Wars 2 has non-opt-out world PvP. It's called World vs. World. It's a very good system. What are you looking for another mode then? Or what are you looking for in games? Um, I'm looking 
for a competitive game, and I'm I'm looking for a game that, to be honest, I'm looking for a game that people really want to talk about. I'm looking for a game that has a very vibrant content creation scene for me to get involved in, and loads of people to argue with, and talk to, and discuss ideas, and talk about things that are going on, right? That, that's what I want. I want a game where everyone wants to talk about the latest patch, uh, constantly. That's what I'm looking for. The void will never Let's go. If we stand together. Your desires are but a mirage. Guild Wars 2? That is not... No. That's not Guild Wars 2. I wish it was. I really do. I was sarcastic? Well, how do I know that? You're typing. I'm sorry, Suwon. We had to do this. Reach deep inside, and you will Let's go. Yeah, the, the HP on strike and all modes is way too high, to be honest. Uh, well, yeah, it's not good. Not good. Yeah. Um, except for every guild update, even oh, dev up, uh, even colors. Yeah, but you're very much the exception that proves the rule, I would say. Did the new expansion um, will make endgame PvP players very happy? I won't make. I almost certainly won't make me happy, but I mean, I, I'm sure it'll be good. Like Ana is not a bad company. I'm in a whirlpool. It's over. Get me out, team. I'm out. Nice. Endgame focused? I, I mean, right. I'm not sure if they would. I mean, it depends what we mean by endgame. I don't think that would be a particularly good decision, but, yeah. Probably re engage Hopium. I mean, look, here's the reality. It, look, I, I will destroy your Hopium here. Truth is, it doesn't matter what they do with Saras. One one hard boss a year or two bosses a year, that is not going to cut it. Like one dungeon, if you want to actually build the scene and make the Guild Wars 2 scene actually a thing, two bosses a year and one dungeon a year is not enough. It actually is irrelevant what they do in terms of the overall health of the scene and the health of the, you know, that kind of, you know, the end game PvE players. It, do it doesn't matter. Like, uh, that's not enough. You can follow the trail I left. Champion. Yeah. She wants you here. But I, you know, I do hope they fix it. Yeah. Indeed. Strike missions of Balthor Crocs or Mordormoth? Well, I mean, there, it will be the same number of strike missions every time. So, I mean, would it be cool? Uh, yes. But, I mean, would it be cooler than just adding new stuff? I mean, that's debatable. Yeah. Don't negative circle jerk, please. Be positive. Um, there's a really big difference between saying, I don't think it will be enough, and what you said, which was, Guild Wars 2 is bad compared to other games. You didn't offer any critique there. You didn't offer any insight or any reason why you feel that way. You just said, these other games are superior. So you can try and play smart with me, but you're not as clever as you think.
And you guys get the vision achievement for the uh, the armor things, raw tracks. Oh yeah, that's what I did. I skipped all of that with World vs. World. Hell yeah. Uh, fit me better, shrug. Yeah, but that's not that's not what. Okay, to be clear, that is not what that is not what pe pe that was said here. Like it was like. Guild Wars 2 is destroyed by RuneScape and Arcage, okay? Like, ha ha ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, it wasn't just that comment, it was a bunch of other comments. Oh my god, I'm fucking doing this. Okay. Uh, I need to see more chat logs, because there was a couple of messages over today that I was watching. Um... Uh, there were a couple of uh, chat messages that were coming out of Mr. Mirror. They're like, okay, yeah. Ha ha, Guild Wars too bad. Very, very funny, right? And this was the culmination of that. That I was like, okay, it's time to stop. Incredible. Big. Looks crazy. Yeah, this is a nice map. Dragon then is cool. Dragon's end. Girls want classic is what we need. It's literally already out there. It the already Detroit exists. This is Go play Guild Wars 1 right now. Celebrations. Dragon's End is goated. God Emperor. Daily reminder, guys, that ArenaNet demolished Dragon's End and utterly annihilated it, turning Su Wan from a powerful dragon into an earthworm. How does it feel, chat? Yeah. Unfortunate stuff. Ah. You know, this is going to be completely random, but I've got to know. Lorcanu, why do you watch this stream? Because I, I know that you said a bunch of really unkind stuff about me on the subreddit and in some other Twitch chats as well. I don't get it. It's nothing personal, obviously, and don't worry. None, you know, no offense taken. It is what it is. Uh, you know, it's the internet after all. I get it. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Caught. Yeah. Eco resource and patching would be big. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, is it? I mean, the economy in Guild Wars One is just weird because of the player base. No, um, isn't it weird because I mean, not enough people play, so it's like propped up by bots and stuff. You will answer for his crimes. I mean, yeah, I'm just interested. Bots in the Lord's work. Yeah, because without the bots, you wouldn't be able to afford cons, right? You couldn't do cons, and then, you know, you can't do, like, your crazy speed runs and stuff. Because people still do, like, record runs and stuff like that, right? In, uh, in Guild Wars. Guild Wars 1. Which is pretty cool, if you ask me. You know what feels bad, guys? I got it, it's another week of not having the rage heart for me. It's another week of of getting nothing from the vault. You honestly hate to see it. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's actually funny to me. Like I I, I say this every time, so I'm going to be boring and unoriginal and just repeat what I said previously. But uh, Arena actually screwed themselves over by being a good company. So. Um, WoW Classic was massively successful, but because the game was relaunched, the Arena almost can't do that with Guild Wars 1, because they were like, ah, you know, we'll just keep the game running, doesn't really cost us much, we'll, we'll keep it running, hell, we'll even throw in a couple of little mini-updates just for fun sometimes, right? That, you know, that, that happened as well. Um, 
So in a way, even though the game, it's very similar to WoW Classic, right? It's very similar um, to all this stuff, uh, to, to, you know, to Guild Wars 1. But in a way, it doesn't really have the same impact or popularity, like purely because it didn't get shut down. It didn't go away and then get brought back. It was always here. So ArenaNet made like a really cool decision to, you know, kind of keep the game running. And, you know, obviously a lot of the, the you know, the, the Guild Wars 1 players really like that because they weren't, you know, weren't necessarily into Guild Wars 2 uh, when Guild Wars 2 came around. But yeah, like ArenaNet probably ended up getting screwed really hard there because I think that if Guild Wars 1 did get re-released, I think people would really like it uh, for the same reasons that people like classic and they like old school RuneScape. It it definitely has something going for it, right? It, it is a, it is a little special, that's for sure. It really is. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear negative criticism. We brain someone saying this could be cool to make the game better. Um, I've dropped. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You said this. Except the content we get pale comparison of old expansions. Strikes absolute feel like they cheap copy paste. Okay. You also said to someone, wow, nice one, dude. Nice smooth brain right there. And you also said both... Wa uh, you said both RuneScape and... Both RuneScape and Arcage, when it comes to casual MMO, destroy Guild Wars 2. I mean, okay. Listen, I got no problem with you, Mr. Mirror, but if we want to criticize the game, that's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that, guys. I think that's all good. Uh, but we don't need to just say, oh yeah, the game is just shit compared to these other games, right? We don't need to say, oh yeah, you know, the current content is just shit. Pe like, that kind of stuff. We don't need that, right? Uh, around here. If you want to criticize, it's absolutely fine. As you said, um, you also, you, you also said, um, something that I, I also particularly like. You said that, oh yeah, you know, if you try and criticize the game in Emmy and Lara's chat, you know, you'll, you'll, you know, get your head bitten off. If you talk like you do in their chat, you will. But if you talk and say, oh yeah, you know, I think it would be better if this was better, I think it'll actually be fine. You gotta bear in mind, you, you, you essentially said something negative about two of my friends' communities and that I don't, think is very fair and so i'm obviously not gonna like that right yeah you know i'm not gonna be like oh wow you know i'm really enjoying the contribution here as well like you know you, you know you you said something negative about some of my friends like i'm not i'm not gonna like that i don't know what you, i don't know what you expected here what's the uh what's the plan you know let's go It's time for keys. Log in. You know, this week is so bad that I almost don't want to play. Uh, it is bolstering tyrannical. Unbelievably awful. I never want to hear you guys ever complain about fractal instabilities ever again. Trust me, it's not that bad. I'm gonna go do the Shatterer, because why not? We have, uh, five minutes to get there, I think. That's, pr well, I mean, is that doable? Probably doable, right? Let's go. Ah. I like to explain those topics to other people. Just like your community. Yeah, but you... The thing is... You were... You were implying... Uh, in a lot of these messages... Um, that... That was the only thing that happens here. Are people negative here? Absolutely. Okay, people are negative here. Because, obviously, the type of player... I'm going to interact with is not going to have a positive opinion on Guild Wars 2. Okay? Right? Uh, like, they're, they're not. Let's be honest here. So, yeah. It is going to be one of the more negative streams. 
uh, out there. And obviously, part of that is me. I am just going to criticize. I'm not going to... If I don't like something, I'm not just going to suck it up, right? I'm going to say, you know what? I don't like it. Ah. Uh. I think the framing was just extremely negative. It also made it sound like I, like, despise the game uh, as well, which I find very annoying because I take great pain to not do that as well. Um, you know, it's something that I, I really, I really feel like I express myself as precisely as possible and people still don't get it. So when I see anything that is... Essentially, it well, the way I see it, just straight up spreading misinformation about the way that I communicate and present information. It's obviously very annoying to me um, when that happens. It's very bothersome. It's, uh, I will, I will admit, I maybe have a slightly pathological obsession with this. I will admit, um, I really hate it when people don't understand what I'm saying or don't understand my position on something. It bothers me a lot, probably more than it should. Um, but then again, you know, I am a streamer. That's kind of the point, right? Yeah. Ah. We made it. Where are the boys? Log in, Vivi. Let's go. But like I said, it is nothing personal. Trust me, uh, it's not my first rodeo. Goodness me, the things people were saying about me in that lucky noob stream, guys. Wow. Oh my god, I'm wounded, guys. I'm wounded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Shout out to Nova, sticking up for me. Yo, let's go. <laughs> what do they say? Well, it was, it, they, they, I guess they were having some trouble with Saras or something like that. So they were having some trouble with Saras CM. And they just start randomly flaming my group and my, you know, and me. Just for no reason. Like, just out of the blue. Actually insane. It was very, it was very, very hurtful, guys. Okay, you know, you can, I, I was wounded. I still am. I, I will never recover from what I heard. Yeah. I'll revoke their raid tournament win. Bad sportsmanship. Yeah. <laughs> Have they cleared yet? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Trying to farm drama? I like that actually, awesomeness. That's a good idea. It's a good theory. Dude, I haven't made it. I need, I've need. i gone the wrong way. It's over. Yeah. Rocker lead the judge. Nah, not Rocker. Thanks for the content. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying. More content. Infinite content. I am the content lord. Let's go. And I should just fly over, shouldn't I, really? Let's go. That's what the sky scale's for, chat. But yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh. I guess I'm just in the wrong spot. I need to be over here. View heroic clears. No, I haven't done that. It's something I want to work on in... Um, in season four, I think, and and maybe the war within. I need to come up with some good ideas because, like I said, I don't really, I don't really like my stream right now. I think my stream sucks, to be honest with you. Um, and that is very bothersome to me. I need to come up with some good ideas. I don't like my YouTube channel or my Twitch stream currently. It's quite bad, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but you know, we're working on that. We're working on that.
Hell yeah. Uh, Sarah CM progression. Ah, oh, yeah, Sneb is gonna go big. Zero Hero is really good. Yeah, Zero Hero is pretty good, but, uh, you know, I need to figure out some good ideas for that as well. Tried going shirtless. Listen, okay, when I get ripped again this year, uh, then we can do some shirtless streams. Um, always hate yourself enough to evolve. I think, um, I think there's this, uh, I, it's not self-hatred, right? Like, it's like, I'm just being no bullshit with myself. Like, I am not happy with my stream right now. I'm not happy with my YouTube channel right now. Um, I'm not happy with my level of fitness right now. There's a whole bunch of things I'm not happy with. But it doesn't mean I, like, hate myself. I mean, like, yeah, sure. There's some things that I think I should do a lot better, but that's just, like, holding myself to account. It's introspection, right? It's like, I'm not like, oh, I'm a terrible... Like, there's... There's a really important distinction here, guys. Acknowledging your flaws is important but it's equally as important to understand that i i, I don't even know how to say this um because it, it's something i i i i think i'm a little bit confused on um because when i say stuff like this people actually do like no 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 actually it's good it's good it's good teapot no it's not but it, I, I, no it's not uh i don't know why people try and convince me that i'm wrong right because they they think that the only way you could feel that way is if you're really upset. Or that, in some sense, being upset is so bad that it needs to be corrected um, in some way. Um, and it's a very complex idea because I am upset. Obviously, I'm very unhappy. I'm very unhappy with my stream right now, and I'm very unhappy with multiple things in my life. But, I mean, okay. Uh, lying isn't going to make it all better, is it? The only thing that's going to make it better is fixing the problems. I have to make my stream better. I have to exercise more. And I have to come up with good ideas for YouTube. Like, that's the solution here. The solution is not pretending that it's okay. The solution is not ignoring the problem. Like, you just have to fix it. You have to fix the problem. Like, pretending that it doesn't exist is not going to help anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the the finals were very disappointing uh, this month. You know, it just and just kind of ended a bit of a bit of a fizzle. Yeah. Ah. What are your flaws? I mean, my Twitch stream isn't very good, and I don't exercise enough. Ah. Incredible. Is everyone logged in yet? Where is everyone? Guys, log the fuck in. Holy shit. Yo, rated. Log in. I mean, Sarah's tile. Yeah, not yet, no. It's harder than the legendary mode. That's the thing. I, I, it's actually a lot harder than the legendary mode, I think. <laughs> oh, man. Dear, dear, dear. What would you downplay your Twitch stream? I just don't think I'd do anything particularly interesting right now, Joel. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, haven't done tournaments for a while. I don't have any particular goal. I'm just basically turning on the camera and talking. I just don't really think that's particularly good. I don't know anything interesting. There's nothing interesting going on right now. So a funding goal for a tour? I really ought to, Solomo. Yeah, I really ought to, to be honest. I really should. That's fair. It's a content drought. Well, I, I mean, I, I need some good ideas. Yeah. Need some good ideas. You're depressed, bro. I actually really don't like. Um, I, this is a very unhealthy mentality, in my opinion. I know you're semi-joking there, but I think you're also semi-not joking. Like. 
Having a, experiencing a negative emotion does not mean that someone is depressed. Someone who is depressed is a, a very different and very serious thing entirely. Um, it's, it's not the same thing. Um, like, yeah, do I view my content in a particularly positive light? Absolutely not. But that doesn't mean I'm, I'm, you know, uh, that's not, that, that doesn't mean I, I'm, like, clinically depressed. It just means that I'm experiencing a negative emotion, right? Turns positive and he starts out wow. Um, I mean, I don't, I actually don't like my wow content right now at all. I like the game, but I don't, I don't like my wow content. I need to make it better. Boom. I picked the gemstones here. Dissatisfaction leads to growth and progression. Yeah, maybe. And I go for WoW content. Uh, I need to, I need to get involved in the competitive scene in that game. I need to get involved in the content creation scene in that game. Those two things. I'm working on it. I feel like a lot of Twitch streamers are on autopilot. Yeah, but I, I, I don't care. Um, look, um, I, I understand that that's the case, right? Like, is Asmongold making, gr uh, like, groundbreaking content? No, most of his content sucks. It's, it's like React content. The stuff that I think that Asmongold does that's really cool is the OTK stuff, the game show stuff, like the um, uh, video game convention stuff, the tournament, the competitive play. That is good content. Right? A hundred percent. I agree with you. Like, yes, every streamer is on autopilot, but that does not mean that I think that's good. Um, at all. Right? Uh, like, I want to do the good stuff. I want to do the tournaments. I want to do the interesting conversations with interesting people about video games. I don't want to do React bullshit or running around in World vs. World just talking about, oh, you know, uh, Sarah CM. Wow. That is the, uh, that is the meme. And by the way, guys, that's not controversial. If you ask these big streamers, if you ask these big streamers, um, is their content good? They would almost certainly say, yeah, most of what I do is dog shit. They would 100% admit that, by the way. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Incredible. Guild Wars Super tries to for the first time. It, it, you No, I, I don't. Well, I honestly, I, I actually don't hate content like that. I, I think that can be good, actually, some are. I think that a lot of those videos are actually rather decent. Um, are they a little clickbaity, a little, little meme -y? Sure, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Let's go. Viewer sends their Sarah CM runs and you rate them. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can do that. I can do live gameplay review. I can do live VOD review. Let's go. VOD review for heroic pugs. Yeah, see, that's, you know, we can do that. I can do VOD review for heroic pugs. Funny enough, that's basically what Harstam does, who's a StarCraft 2 player uh, and a content creator. One of his most popular series is, uh, is it Imba or do I suck? Which is basically where his viewers send in uh, replays for him to analyze and basically tell them why they suck and why they're bad and why they lost their game. It's very funny. Yes. Peepo peer review. Let's go. Doesn't probably the Elmer's create content with? Ah, uh, sure. I, I think you're not wrong there, Joel. It's definitely a, a game that's hard to make content for. Yeah, I think you're right. Do your own uh, mini MDI. You know, the thing is actually, the, you know, the, um, One of the things that is actually very concerning to me, in a sense, well, not really concerning, it's just, I guess, a little bit unfortunate for me, is I kind of like to do my own thing, but kind of the thing is, I look at MDI and TGP, and I go, you know what, that's actually rather good. Uh, I wouldn't really change it, but I'll probably just try and get involved. Maybe I can uh, commentate, you know, I can commentate the MDI. 
uh, or I can uh, commentate the Race to Worlds first, stuff like that. I can get involved in the event production, stuff like that. But yeah, there you go! PvP competitive game? Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I'll play some SE2. I only play dead games, that's my rule. I'm not really much of a shooter player, to be honest. I mean, I maybe play a MOBA or something, but um, I'd, I'd want to play real-time strategy. Maybe I'll play Stormgate, right? Maybe we'll do um, Stormgate. Training coaching on stream, that was a uh, really cool content. Um, it was all right. Didn't really work. That's the thing. It's um, I, I did I didn't I didn't think it was very effective. Yeah. Have you learned anything from the Zero to Hero series? Um, I, I I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that question. Ah, uh, everyone's fucking logged in. Fucking finally. Whoa. I got some achievements, guys. Insane. I haven't tried the uh, new WoW mode, no. And they engage like you love you. Well, I actually solved that draw. I basically told all of those people to never watch my stream ever again. Um, so I got rid of those people. Big. Plunge. Nice. Do the ban purge? I did, yeah. I enjoyed doing it too. Feels good. Get new players on Discord and mentor them. No, th th okay. Stuff like that always sounds like a good idea until you realize it's a terrible idea. Um, Like... The truth is, is the amount of players who... The amount of players who are very noob, who are going to be receptive to that type of training is unbelievably small. Um, and it's also very, very high effort, and it almost certainly won't work. Um, it's... I, I, yeah, it's, it's not that great, to be honest. Yeah, bootcamp was a really good example of this. It didn't work. Bootcamp did not work. Um, because, like, just the, the players didn't want to do it, basically. Um, you know, like, you, the, the only player who really, um, the only player who, who really engaged was, was Cuspeans. And funnily enough, actually, I screwed over Cuspeans, guys. Because guess what? Cuspeans beat all the content and then quit the game. I'm not even joking. Um, which is actually a, a hilarious representation of, of why, in a lot of ways, getting good at Guild Wars 2 is arguably a really big mistake. Because the problem is, is that, um, uh, Cuspeans quit the game because uh, she beat it. She beat the game. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, Guild Wars 2 doesn't have an... It, it, Guild Wars 2 is not the same as, like, a competitive shooter. Like, you... It doesn't work here very well. Fall now? Ah, very good. Let's go. Everyone is here. Actually, just, uh... I don't want to... Do I want to use my portal? I don't need to port out on this one. Yeah, I can... I can... Hang on. I can use the port. Let's go. But yeah, fungus worked. Um, kind of. Fungus is extremely different, though. Uh, to be honest. 
Like, fungus worked because it, well, it um, worked a little bit. It didn't, it, no, fungus didn't work. Not really. Um, no, it didn't. Not, not in the way that I would have wanted it to. Not really. It's a little bit hard to explain what I mean by that. Um, but the core concept is that... Fungus was unsustainable for a start, but also... Uh, f fungus was forced to an extent. Fungus was quite forced. Like, it was, um... It required constant maintenance to make it continue to exist. And that is not good. Um, and ultimately, I don't think there was enough self-motivation in the players, because ultimately it's very difficult to maintain something like that in Guild Wars 2 because there's no good reason to do it. Like, what is the point in try-hard in Guild Wars 2? Like, there kind of isn't one. Um, the game isn't competitive enough to kind of warrant that kind of effort. Like, Fungus was really fun, but ultimately Fungus is... It's just... Guild Wars 2 is the wrong game to do anything like this in. Like, that, that is the reality here. Oh, fuck! Dude, I need to do- I don't have the quest! Oh, it's fine. I'll get it after this dungeon. It's fine. Yeah. 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 Wow killed fungus. Kind of, yeah. Is there anything you've done that uh, turned out the way I wanted? I mean, some of it is not bad. Motor 2 was probably the closest to how I wanted it to go, yeah. It was pretty close. Let's deplete. Let's deplete. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Incredible. High rank PvP? I mean, why would I do that? Why wouldn't I just do it in another game, Newly Reform Plus Ultra? Zero to Hero? Yeah, Zero to Hero is pretty good. I love bolstering. I love bolstering, guys. We're going to have a lot of fun here. Let's go. Ah, I will consume. Wait, this is actually time. The, uh, Wait, we have thir we have three up. falls. What the fuck? That's actually crazy. They were depleting them all. We have e oh my god, we have ever bloom and three falls, and I think we can actually yeah, time this. Like this is doable. This thirty is doable, guys. One hundred percent, I think. It's difficult, but it's doable. Man, I'm really tempted to change build after. Uh, the RP, and you guys just go without me. Uh, any weaker uh, sharers? Hello? Wait, what, what What do you need? Afflicted? Which one? Afflicted. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Afflicted. The juice. Yeah. All right. Uh, I Also, I am ready. We can do a pull timer, and we can game. Do I have the right build? Yes, I do. I will die within milliseconds, by the way. Are What's we doing it all in one, and I just... Yeah, howdy. Yo! What are we doing here with the, uh, how do we do the first pull here? Like, <laughs> How about you die? I mean, yeah, I will die. There's no way I will survive with bolstering on a 30. That's just, that's not going to happen. Call them on boss. Hmm. What's the plan here? Do we just do it in two instead? And then do the second one on boss? Are you scared? Did we, we never did that, I think. We always put all of them, no? I mean, yeah, but... Uh, Sinsel, can you share the afflicted one? Mine is, uh... Bruh. Hmm. And we can try it. I mean, we have three keys, so I can try. 
It's maybe livable. But it's like 10 stacks of bolstering. Do you I mean, have the... Are you weak or Yeah, but it... it no. That's... It, it makes them do 200% damage. That's like... You know, it, it, it's like triple damage. So in other words, it's like a 3,000% oh. key. It's like a key level 50. Like when they're fully bolstered. What if you just <laughs> kill them? Before they... Spin goes off, you know? Yeah. Or is it the uh, auto attacks? I mean, it's the auto well, it's attacks. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's literally everything. Like, you guys are going to get one you shot get by the spin. For like five million. Yeah, it's going to be like a 5 million melee attack. It's not really livable. I mean, just do half. Just do, um, you know, the two guys in the middle. Do we have time, yeah. though? Like, do we have time if we do that? Well, uh, yeah, probably. Do we? Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, our 29... It's not fortified, our, so. Yeah, but our 29 was 32 minutes. We had what, a minute and 30 on 29. Oh. Yeah. We didn't have Blast and Mage. That is true, actually. It was a very cursed call. All right, let's, let's fucking just ascend. Let's just go. We have three of these. Let's play. We should finish it no matter what to get uh, to, you know, just to reroll the key afterwards. Five. All right, I'm pulling okay, all of it, and go I'm just going to run away, I guess. I think it is a kiting angle. And it will probably work out, maybe. Who knows? Ah, uh, tyrannical. Here we go. That's fucking the fun. It's certainly going to be one of those days. Okay, let's go, lost. And the fun begins. I'm silencing them now. Oh yeah, you guys are uh, spelling afflicted. The fun is about to begin. Okay. Affix. Okay. Cruel and melt. You've been melted. How does it feel? Yeah, I'm going to have to run soon. Like, this is going to get untankable very soon. I have to run now. I have to run now. Bye. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I can live for a couple of seconds now. Bolstering. Okay, well, I mean, the, the trash is dead. That's the good news. All right, we're pulling boss. I mean, that didn't go too badly. That, was, that wasn't too bad. That's fine. Epics. Yes. Epics? Epics. Guys, yeah. it went off. Oh. It was the same meme as last time. What do you mean the by that? The mouse over. The mouse over. I don't think it was. You probably have to, do you have to click it? No, I mean, my mouse over. No, my other keybinds. It's the other keybinds. What do you mean by that? Well... Like, it doesn't work on my mouse keybinds. Hmm. Remember? Like oh, the yeah, okay, mouse over okay. thing. Have you rebound it? Yeah, it's on a fucked up one. Nice. Man! Why does this boss have so much health? I hate Tyrannical. 
This sucks. <laughs> what? Affix. Yeah, that affix. The next two bosses are also just going to be pure hell. Which is fun. Yeah, we got Cutting Edge. Farak is down. In the next uh, set of trash guys, we have to focus the big guy and then pull him into other stuff. So we'll start killing the big guy on its own, then we'll pull it into the trash when it's getting low. That is going to be the plan. There's an affix behind boss, guys. Affix behind boss. It's done. I got this uh, soak. Some of these are going to start despawning soon. I'll go. I'll go at the back here so you guys don't get cut off. Ow! The sand is owning me. Let's uh, cross. Bolts. Okay. I'll uh, just stack mine. Yeah. We move. Oh, the time on this is going to be pretty okay, honestly. That's affix spawning now. It's one affix, get it? Yeah, this is not too bad. This is uh, 30 seconds behind our plus 29. It's timeable. It's doable. Okay, so we do the big guy first, and we'll pull him into the pack when he's low. Because, uh, yeah, that bolstering, it's its not going to be good, let's be honest. I'm going to fireball him. Yeah, yeah, you can. Are you ready for bolstered, tainted sands? No. It's over. This will take us some time. I think it will be fun. Uh, don't pull the pack, guys. There's going to be a pack spawning there. Don't pull it. Okay. We can probably go now. Go I fix. <laughs> okay. Nice fucking memes. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Uh... Yeah, I don't have to leak or. Wait. Well, I fucking Wait. leaked it, bro. He sent it. Yeah, I said so at the start. Fair yeah, but it's not like link the, Yeah, he gave it to you. Yeah, he gave you the week or Yeah, but it didn't download. Wait. Yeah, don't ask me why. Okay. It just didn't complete. Okay. Affix. Human Wicker, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing fucking Wicker right now. He's playing the game for you. It's dog time. Kill the dog, guys. Or, uh, I'm fucked. I mean, just consider dying, I guess. That's, uh, might, ha might end up happening. One afflicted spawn. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually <laughs> doing the fucking Wicker. Holy Fear. shit. That is big. Dog needs to die before it casts Bloom again, or I will die. And also someone else will die. This is the last blue we need to play. It needs to die before the next one, or we're fucked. Nice. The two of them. Okay. One afflicted spawn. <laughs> Get rid of these. I think this V-Car is objectively worse, since it's French. 
Okay. Holy shit. It's crazy. Right. Let me move these. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is actually cursed. Hang on, we need to do the dog next, don't we? Yeah, we do. Hang on. Because we need to do the big guy on his own. Focus the dog. You afflicted. Silencing all the leeches. Ow. I should be okay on the next bloom. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, kill it before it casts again. Okay. I'm right, full focus on the big guy. This is a single target moment. We'll just chain the small stuff into the other stuff after this is done. Okay, let's go. Start pulling more stuff in as well. Bolstered triple strike. I'm ready. I picked it. Rip. Oh, that vault. Holy shit. That's close. Coalesce time dies. Oh, we want to start chaining now. We're going to have to do some kind of illegal chaining here, but we need to be time efficient. Okay, I silenced them now. Silenced. I get next stop as well. Watch the swirlies. Stopping. Grip. I pushed it. I might have to run away a little bit here. I'm running away. No, I'm fine. Cancel that. Pretty well, honestly. Okay. Don't like die to his auto attack. I have cheat. I'll just cheat <laughs> to it. It's fine. You will instantly die. I actually will. Orbs. The seconds pass. It's going to be Vivi than Sizzle. It's oh, <laughs> a lot of damage. Enjoy that, right? Ethics. Jesus. Orbs. Count the seconds. It's Vivian and Sizzle again. As double affix, there's another affix up. Don't orb. The seconds pass. It, what the fuck? Same order again. Okay. Okay. Afflicted. Something. Yeah. Afflicted's going off. Get the afflicted. I mean, it's easier to solo now. It's just annoying because it's two GCDs every time. Yeah. Is it, you know, it's 12 seconds now. Listen. 
I don't want to hear you guys complain about shit. I have to do with ball string this week. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that, you know, Rated could do it as well, sometimes. I mean, I did it there, right? It's, wait, it it's not? the same oh. again. This is actually very it's weird. Same. What are the odds of that? Extremely low, I think. I feel like this is actually very terrible, because the last time we were doing this key, wasn't it Sanguine? So it was unbelievably um, cursed. Yeah. It's a Bindo Snizzle. Man, the third boss is going to be so long. That boss is going to be ridiculous. I'm not having fun right now. Oh yeah? Why not? This is fucking... Same me. Yeah, so, wait. Is there actually some kind of weird bug going on here? Get afflicted? No. I mean, I went on a bindo once. Oh yeah, I did go on a bindo, yeah. It's extremely unlikely. It is uh, rated than a bit, no? I it. I can't get it. So. Boom, let's go. Yeah, not bad actually. We're only 41 seconds behind. That is just. It's timeable if we keep this pace. Yeah, Snizzle is bouncer, I think. He's the. Can you, ba you, you, can you bounce on uh, this boss, Snizzle? Yeah, I mean I can, but it's <laughs> it's a lot of damage. Yeah. Well, I mean, is it, do you think it's better if a Bindo does it or you? No, uh, the Bindo dies. Okay. Then in that case, it is Snizzle. Three, two, one, don't go. You, don't you have like fifty percent verse or some shit? Yeah. Forty. Rated is emotionally broken after having to do a dispel. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, I think we have to do one dragon at a time, right? I don't think we can do. Multiple. We don't have lust. What do you think? Wait, can we do two sizzle or, or just one? What do you think? What? No. No. <laughs> I think we're gonna fucking die. Yeah, it's, it's gonna bolster the dragon. This game is gonna fucking. Yeah, the sack. Yeah, because it will bolster, and then one of them will be twenty percent more damage. Yep. Wait, so how's that? <laughs> while raging. We can go how's in the window. Yeah, yeah, we're in. We're in. Isn't four very horse like uh, double dragon? Uh, it is actually. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's actually the same as fortified, because fort yeah fortified is thirty percent more damage and one bolstering stack is. Uh... Yeah. Can we do two of these? Like, like, what do you think? Pretty sure you can. We can. We... I mean, sure, we're not tried, bro. Wait, 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 we'll, we'll do the next two together. We'll do this one solo. We'll do the next two together. I, I feel like it's maybe doable. Fuck it, bro. This doesn't look. Too bad in terms of the output. <laughs> you just wait, yeah, wait for raging, bro. Well, I mean, it, it, when it's when one dies, it will just be less than fortified, even because fortified is plus thirty. I can no longer spin. Also, I died. Dragon has punched yeah? me to death. You want to do two dragons? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do, we do, we do. Yeah. Okay, bro. See how oh, the struggle comes. Ah, bro, it's uh... ethics. Oh, just fucking hit him for me. We're gonna fucking die. Yeah, we're gonna die if we do two. Okay, fine, we won then. We do one. We do one then. I I'm pulling the second one. Okay. Chunk. And we have a couple of tries on this key, so... We can kind of play this one slow and see if we need to speed it up. I mean, fairly smooth so far. Like, I think the first pull was a bit messy, but that's kind of to be expected, right? Given that it's bolstering. It's never going to be smooth. Chunk. Yeah, two might have been a little bit too much. Yeah. 
Would have been a lot of damage. Chunk. The chunks should bolster. That would make this better. Actually, very unfortunate that I died there. This boss is really scary on tank, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, well, you can pot at the start of this fight as well, guys. It's going to be five minutes. It'll be a five-minute encounter. Huh. Holy. Blight spew. We have lust in two minutes. I think we're actually going to lust this boss and the last boss, right? Yeah, we definitely do. So we're going to lust... What, where do we want to lust her? Phase two, I think, maybe? Phase two? Yeah. Will we yep. even have it for phase two? Hmm. Not sure, actually. We should do. Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a minute and 56. I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right. Pulling. I might need to aim this, but hopefully not. Yeah, yeah, if it's on your chest. Oh, yeah, you definitely do. Well, I mean, the first one, even the first phase. Yeah, yeah, even if it's this one, I think. Maybe I just live with. Like, if you do it now, you can do it again in the next phase. It's like two minutes. Yeah, it's pretty long. Yeah, but. Uh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to me now. I'll face it away. Next slime. Some rated. Okay. Yeah, give it to me, give it to me. I cheated. I mean, you have to press the alto. Oh, fuck, I forgot to put it. Apex. Sorry, yeah, I did it. <sighs> so, Nabinda, you can just give it to me immediately. I'll just move, I'll move with you. And we phase now. Good. Okay, we cancel it. That's actually a huge cancel. Very nice. I'll drop a darkness for this. Oh, yeah. Darkness is down. Dive, it's down, it's down, it's down. Watch the shit still, guys. It's still going to fire out the things. Do I lost this or I do, right? Uh do we want to or do we want to do last phase? I think so. Mm. Mm. I mean Uh I mean yeah, fucking send it then. Let's experiment, just fucking send it. Uh, next CDs, next CDs. Oh wait, not well yeah, okay, no, I mean, we get okay, resum resum and then we send it on next yeah. CDs. When which is in like ten uh, seconds, 15. I think, right? Yeah, fifteen, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh let's go rally here, rally. Uh, that's fine. You can send it. Yeah, go lust. Let's go. We have to do one more. Uh, get, give it to me and then Sizzle bounces with me, I think. Okay. Uh, Sizzle bounce with me now. And uh, Maybe hold it, actually. Tell me when you have like a button to oh. press and I'll give it to no, bro. you. Oh, bro. Give it to me. Okay, have it. And then you can give it back immediately now. Give it back immediately. I'll just stand still. <coughs> okay. Don't change your mind like that. I had to use two defenses there. Oh, yeah. This face. Right, I think this is going to be very cancerous. If you Watch who it's spitting on, guys, yeah? Because uh, the spit. If we can actually immune this, this is huge. Ray, did you have Invis? Nope. Unfortunate. Not at the moment, so... Double affix, guys. It's on Snizzle. Oh. Uh, if you need to bounce it, you can bounce to me immediately if you need pressure. Uh, you can. Do you, are you good? Are you good? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep, okay. yep, yeah, yeah, moving. It's mine.
Need to bounce in three. Uh, now. Bounce me. Okay. Uh, junior bounce. Uh, CR, 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 CR. CR, CR, CR. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. I think it, it, what we can do, Snizzle, we can actually do just full hot potato, right? Um, uh, I need a bounce, by the way. I need a bounce. Although it's not going to go away in time. Anyone, anyone, anyone. Uh, give it back instantly. Yep. Oh, uh, Bindo still has it. Well, That's bad. Okay, I'm going to take it off you. Oh, boy. We're going to have double. I need a bounce. Sizzle. Yeah. Watch the frontal. Oh. This is gonna hurt. If you need to instantly bounce, you can just give it to me if you need to. Uh, oh, no, I got this. Oh, it's still up. Yeah, I got him up. I can do next bounce. Yeah, okay. Uh, bounce me. Bounce me. Uh, it's fucking fun. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Yeah, you can just rebounce immediately if you need to. Hey, well, oh. yeah, well, yeah. I, di I didn't move. But... Okay, we have to just finish it. Yeah, this boss is a little bit pain. I need to bounce in a couple. Oh, no, it will get eaten, actually. It will get eaten. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I can move. I'm moving boss over so you can stack him. Oh. Fucking kill it. I have the fucking oil for me. Uh, you can give it to me. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, well, it's on me now. The good news is, oh, you can finish it. it is dead, yeah. Man, it's actually very close. I think we lost too much time, though. That was too slow. Um, but it's still close. I think this boss fight is seven minutes. We're going to get there with about six minutes and, yeah, l a little around six minutes. So we, we just lost too much time there. If we can speed that up, we're fine. I th should we last that last phase? I feel like we should, honestly. Phase two didn't feel that bad. I think we should last yeah. that. I think I that's mean, way it's harder. mostly because we got uh, the invis in phase two. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, I mean, we should save. I think we should save invis for phase three for sure, and meld for phase three. I think it's much harder. Well, yeah, because if you meld there, it just makes it so much easier, right? You have to do way less bounces. So I think we should meld an invis phase three. No, 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 no. It's. I, I think it's fine. I think the. I, I'm. I think Snizzle can, can do it. No problem. Yeah. It's just the. How, um, how long do we have to hold it for? The you. Three? You. In phase three, you can give it back to me immediately. Uh, you only have to hold it in phase two. In phase three, you can just hand it over. It's more pressure. On me. Yeah, yeah, I see. I'm moving back now. Well, let's honestly, yo, uh, this will be good for practicing the DPS check. See if we can make that. Because it's not yeah, going to be easy. Yeah, I'm single target meme because I don't have the portal. But... Wait, what? Then we're gigafuck then. No, I mean, it's fine. Is it? I mean, we're fire mage now, but like, sure it's... I don't know, maybe. Is it? Wait. Are you, uh, doubting me? Well, I mean, it's, it's a plus 30 tyrannical. It's going to be cancer. Oh, I fucking cheated to that. Very nice. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Pulling now. Okay, this is going to be darkness here. And press some buttons. Have a darkness. There's an affix up. It's on boss. <laughs> That's affix. a lot of damage. There's another one in the yeah. boss, guys. In affix. The boss. You guys are doing affixes on bosses. Dude, well, yeah, I can't. There's no shot I'm doing affixes in a third tyrannical. Stay near Snizzle, don't drift. That's a lot of damage the shield is doing, guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
If we lost last phase, you wouldn't get another one on Iridicron. Uh, that's true. But I mean, maybe the, the solution to that, though, is just go faster, no? Maybe saving the invisors for phase three is enough. Uh, the shield. I think of these. We shouldn't get another pulse. We shouldn't. That should be the last one. I think. Oh, yep. Okay. That I parried every time. That's a huge outplay. I am a skilled gamer. Let's go. That's silence. I'm going to move them after silence. Oh my god. How did I not get aggro on that one? Okay, so this next one's going to be Rally. Kick that, kick that. Yeah, kick I got that. it, I got it, I got it. It's unrated, he invises hopefully. Yeah, yeah. This is Rally. Okay, well, we live that pretty easily, which is good. It's in the fucking balls. Imagine. Yeah, it's annoying that it's inside the hitbox. <laughs> Enjoy. Yo, I have 15 stacks of frailty. This is awesome. Boss does no damage to me. Behind us. Yep. This is it's gonna be pretty close, isn't it, honestly? We're not gonna be that far off. Not bad. <laughs> What's that? Where are we losting? Do we wanna lost one of the shields maybe? Like the next shield? That makes sense? Uh, yeah. I think I should play Signet Brand, to be honest. Oh so Heal me. Nothing. Try and do it when you rest. Yep. I need to hit these ads a bit, then move. Okay, we're good. I have a silence, it will go through. Ads die. Kick. Got it. This is my darkness again. Okay, darkness. Abindo did have to eat that, so. Well, hope darkness procs on you, bro. Enjoy. No, oh, suck. It's fine. Oh, Apex, okay. I can suck uh, every time on this thing. With Rage Charts. Can I yeah. lost or... I uh, don't have you can now. You can go now. Not sure that's the best timing for it, but honestly on this shield is probably pretty decent. Yeah, I'd rather not die here. I use pot. I should have saved that for the last 10%. Whoops. I see lust, I press potion. Apex. I'm silencing that one. Apex, Apex, Apex. We have to start holding about now. We want to skip the next shield though. Ooh, this is going to be really tight, isn't it? We have rally for this. Nothing as well. 
Rally. It's on us. Ooh, yeah, I guess we don't skip this shield, huh? Maybe we should have lost boss HP here in that case. Because I feel like we want to skip this. On our kill that run. Oh, come on, go, 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 oh, go, 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 go. Oh, do we get it? Oh, oh no, we oh, don't. It's so close, dude. Okay, I mean, that's just something to know for next time, right? Yeah. So probably... Well, we... I'd have more single target as well, if I was on the correct build. Yeah, I think I'll play Signet Brand too. Right, I'll play Signet Brand as well on the next try. And that should help. Oh, where is it? We got... Mm, yeah, because we have to hold CDs here, so we can't really break the shield very quickly, which sucks. Sucks for Snizzle. He's nearly out of mana, guys. Better break the shield. Yeah. He's 15%. It's fine. FX. Well. Shield's gone. And now it's And now it should break. instantly phase, yeah. Alright, send it. I have darkness in five. I'll drop it. To take the pressure off. Darkness is down. Yeah, that helps. I should have it if our kill time is comparable. Do we have this? Uh, Holy hmm. shit. We do not have it. We died, so... If Raiden yeah, hadn't died there, would we have that? Man, that would be close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 mil. Nah, that's... Ooh. My god, that's all. Yeah. I didn't have combo star. Oh, okay. That's oh, okay. Then, yeah. We, then, we, then it, yeah, assuming everyone lives, then we do have that in that case. That's fine. Because if we had, no, if you had combust, I mean, that's that's the that's your cooldown. You need that. All right, let's just uh, reset. But I do need something after uh, ice cold, probably. Yeah. I'm gonna sub to the actual build I would play. Okay. Yeah, I think we can we can time this. I guess we should just clear the trash at this point. Oh, I guess now we can just roll. I mean, Windows BRB, so. Uh, let me go get Signet Brand as well in that case. Hang on, I'll be back. Um, hmm. Could I... Can you get, uh, should I drop a Rage Shot for um, DPS? Because, like, I don't really need Rage Shot. It just allows me to suck someone during the, the soak. Um... But Hmm. I, I mean, how, I don't think you should, to be honest, no. I think it's yeah, very easy yeah, to like, like, it's, it's a lot of damage. I drop it for the third boss as well, which is not good. Yeah, on the no, third that's boss, fucking I, I really need it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. fuck that. Signet yeah. Yeah. Brand. If only I had an Augury. Or a Rage Heart. Or Rage Heart, yeah, that would be good. Maybe I play cheatless. I mean, don't, I don't, do I really need to cheat death on this? I don't think so. Well, well if, if you don't parry, parry then... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I don't parry, then it, it is a bit scary, but... I'm playing no spirit bomb, so it's pretty safe. Also, um, I can remove my uh, flavor pocket to get more avoidance, because I... Yeah, I mean, that's not... Well, is that, it, hmm, is that good? Uh, to be honest, because oh. you're going to die at least once throughout the key because of bolstering, no? If it wasn't bolstering, I'd say do it, but because it is bolstering, I don't know. You're going to die at least once, I feel like. No? Yeah, probably. Because, I mean, look, if you get a bolstered tainted sands... And like, there's not die. really anything else I could uh, craft to get the flavor pocket instead. I'm actually going to have to take socket again, and it feels fucking bad. It feels very bad. I got nothing yeah. in the vault. It's over. I most of my ults get yeah. socket every week. It's unlucky. Uh, I should have I should have changed to the Zaste build. Maybe I actually should. Because I can just drop brand spread. Yeah, you can take uh, down and you can basically play the raid build. You take down in flames, drop uh, brand spread, and play soul furnace instead. It's incredibly based build. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should. I mean, we need all the damage we can get, right? Hmm. I guess we can't RP uh, the lost memes. Because, like, we wouldn't have lost on pull, but Rated would have his own lost on pull. 
Not yeah. Too. Well, I mean, he w uh, can't. Oh, no, no, no. He'd have to lust himself to give himself the debuff so he could do it. But now nah, we can't do that because then he'll have a 10 minute cooldown and it's fucked. All right, let's just uh, po potion through again. Get in here, I don't. Wait, are you? Wait, I don't see you. Yeah. Oh, you're already up. Yeah, he's through. Okay, okay. Yeah, same 50 for mine. Okay. I'm going in. I think we just all okay. So, what do we want to do? Do we want to lost? Do we want to lust boss HP or um shield? I think we want to lust boss HP, right? Yeah, boss HP because it means one yep. less shield. Yeah. And lusting shield is like a few mm. less sticks, but. I will try and save darkness for the if we ca we have a similar kill time, we should get the the darkness should be available for the last damage as well. And the sizzle just has to heal. I mean, how hard can it be? I'm going in. Uh-huh. Just heal, bro. Uh-huh. How about a single affix? Hmm. You know? I don't think he's going to be able to do the affix. This battle's VV9, rated 7, Stizzle 0. Hmm. Yep. Wait, someone pulled. Wait, someone pulled. Hmm. Oh, yes. I guess uh, no, he just went through. Maybe Stizzle just reses him or something. I don't know. Those of oh, half oh, okay, okay. Oh, this is honestly doable though. Like, if we we need to clean up the third boss, um, but it's fine if we can do the third boss. Not a problem. There is one thing we could try. Do we actually want to try the trash on first boss strat? Uh, there's no need, I think. Are you sure? It's very close, though. It's very close. Mm. And we have three. Okay, so we, we'll do it like we normally do next try, I guess. And then if that's too slow, then we could try the other strat, which I think is slightly faster. I mean, do you really want to pull stuff on the first boss? It'll be fine for me. You, you'd you be the ones to worry about. Ah, uh, you're sure? Yeah. Chronos here, yeah. like, bolstering I'll be 15 fine. stacks. Yeah, I'll be fine. I won't die. Yeah. You're doing yeah. all. I mean, I feel like we could do stuff on second. Boss. Well, no, you don't. You like don't do all glitches. of them. You do, you skip. You do. Fight, you right? do the four big guys. Yeah, you do the four. You do the two yeah, big guys yeah. and that. Like you don't. You don't do this shit. Yeah. I won't. And do we stuff we on, could yeah. do stuff on second boss. Like almost every team I saw does this. Like a few leeches on the second boss. Yeah, but we we yep. just do the le leeches with the other trash. I don't think it's that relevant to be honest. But yeah. Ready check. Here we go. It's time for Iridacron 30 to fall. All right, three, two, one, here we go. First will be Darkness. Shield. Don't drift away from Snizzle. Or well, you're gonna die. Did I just cheat again? Yep. You did. You yeah. cheated. I guess he can't press Ice Cold every time. It's three minutes CD. Maybe he gets enough uh, shifting powers off though that it's like a two minute CD. I mean, yeah, I'll pass it next time. It's, it was fine before. I guess it, I guess maybe darkness fucked you up because it depends if darkness procs or not. Uh, I mean, I can suck you every time. I guess I can do that. I think I should just stack uh, whoever gets the uh, meme, the debuff, affixes as well. Yep. One left. Oh, wait, I don't have a dispel because I'm on rainbow. Yeah, nice game. Nice. Enjoy oh I, my I'm gonna, god, he doesn't I'll have it next time. <laughs> Dude, it's Hila you know, fix, anyways. That is very funny, actually. He has no dispel. Break. I stop these. I can silence them again.
I'm not parrying. It's over. This is going to be Rally. Holy. That's scuff position, wasn't it? Okay, I'm showering. I, I know why I died. Okay. Why did you die? I need mirror image for that. Like, at least a little bit of DR. You think you need a little bit of DR? Yeah. I don't lift the, the second hit. Yeah, I mean, you... Also, this... <laughs> you're definitely gonna need something for that. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Rated is feeding. And that's why Rated is playing Augmentation Evoker next, uh, next season. Uh, we don't have a CR, we need to, to need to reset, need to reset, need to reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to reset. Here, reset. Don't think the boss. Also, why are we in this corner? That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's because um, uh, Chromie teleports to you. Yeah, when you get oh, yeah, the, of uh, course. Yeah. Thing. Chromie destroyed us. Get in there. I mean, maybe I just don't the boss and I just bury like every time, you know? Uh, I guess we should just wait. Uh, I guess we can just clear these. No, actually, oh, no, I'm We haven't just. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, hang on, hang on. Well, just, let, just let me die. Just let me well, die. It's fine. Oh, no, well, wait, never mind. No, I'm sorry. Well, no, I just, I just, ran, no, I just, I just ran in. That's fine. Yeah, but we have to kill him, right? Well, I mean, I can just just die and then come back, right? Okay. Yeah. Wait, you're yeah, missing it's, again? It's my pot now. Well, we'll just kill all of them. Now we have to kill them all. Yeah. Wait, I got a better air than you. Why don't we just send the key again? Uh, because it's we, like, it's only minutes we, we, need, we need to know, like, how close we are to killing this and, like, what it yeah. takes to kill this. Okay. That is why. One hour fall. It's time. Wait, actually, let me get a dispel in the meantime. Oh, I'm getting the Signet Brand uh, stacks up. We go on to boss immediately after this. Bolster. There's an affix. It's been cleared. Uh, sure, it's fine if I don't have a kick for like, you know, after the third boss. Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, it's fine. You don't need a kick. I also... You don't need a yeah, kick yeah. after the second boss. Not really. I mean, I can handle all of it on this. La There's one, one pack of trash, right? I've obtained the mobs. Yo, I'm at eight stacks of Signet Brand. This is huge. Now I'm at nine. I might even be at 15 by the time we get there. I'm cutting these up. I'm going in with full stacks. Let's go. 11 stacks. Let's go. I'm getting the Myth Signet brand from uh, Small Dawn Reekler. Just yeah. for this key. It's specifically for this exact key. I'm 15 stacks. Let's go. Tempo slice. I'm pulling the mobs up. Is everyone here, right? Oh, no, uh, no. Oh. no, not here. Oh my god. Vivi, no. I mean, did we, did, my did, stacks. It's RP. Wait, 
breaking the RP. What was what breaking the RP? I mean, the RP is like well, you like wouldn't randomly have fifteen hit. stacks. You know what? I no, mean, you wouldn't be, I'd, I would I'd stacks. have like a couple of stacks from this pack here, right? Like five, yeah. No, I have zero though. Could have been fifteen. Yeah, you can pull. Oh, I have none. You didn't boost them. Vivi's trash. Oh. GG. GG. Darkness first. Rated will die within milliseconds. I'm limit testing again. As a darkness, enjoy. Here comes the shield. Get the affix. Oh yeah, I do have a rat icon. I think it's something to do with the Emerald Dream. Oh no, it's pet battles, actually. Rats. Rats. Break the shield, guys. Hopefully not another tick. Oh, never mind. It ticked. I parried. Holy shit. I got Raiden yeah. nearly died to that. Yeah, I need I need I need to I'm going. Silencing. It's done. This is gonna be rally next. Pop the boss. Here comes the shield. Uh, when are we lost at the shield? I think we're gonna lost... Uh, where will we have it, actually? I'm not sure About where we have it. About four minutes into the fight. Ish. Okay, so we'll use that as a bit of a benchmark then. It will probably be after the third shield then, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah. That will probably be the last set of cooldowns we use before the final burn phase as well. Which is interesting. I fix. Wait. Where's the other? Yeah, I fix on T-Bot. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's quite far. It went off. Uh, we can see our See on that. Is that physical damage, by the way? Um, earth breaking. Or is it no, it's magic. Yeah, yeah nature, basically. Okay, blasting the boss. Ethics, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we lost after we break the next shield. I'm gonna I have darkness for this. Oh, never mind. Was bad. Darkness. Okay. We break the shield and it's lost. I have 15 stacks of Signet Rend, and it feels good. Affix.
Break the shield, then it's uh, lost. And probably nothing big after this. We're not that far away. Okay. You can lust when you have it. Any lusters? Space. Moving up. Come the boss. We need to go. We want to phase before next shield. So we have 30 seconds. Should be doable. Perfect. I'm not going to have darkness with this timing, actually. Also no nice spell here. Maybe I just hold it. Let's go. I'll hold darkness in that case, I think. Hmm. 25 million. Oh, man. No! It's, it's 7 million. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, how are we going to beat that? Was it 7 million there? Yeah, it was. Yep, 7 million. <laughs> I hate to say it. But well, 7 million is honestly not insane because, like, towards the end, like, we were. No, no, lots. no. That's, that's my bad. We break it next time. Trust me. Wait, did you. But, well, what happened? Uh, I didn't look at the boss HP. Like, we lost it, and, uh. Like, we got really fast to the next intermission. Like, I didn't notice. Did you not have so combust? combust oh my yep. god, <laughs> again. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, fucking He's actually <laughs> trolling. Oh, dude, my signal brand popped off. It did 5.7 oh, million. Not present next time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bindo lost. Yeah, because Abindo died, so he lost signal brand, yeah. which is not ideal. Well, but yeah, I was just stuck fireballing there. Hmm. Did nothing. Yeah. He was ZDPS. Okay. Alright, we got this one. Okay. Alright, then we'll uh, time this immediately afterwards. It's gonna be great. Wait, I just wanna check, like, exactly when will we have lost? Or at least, like, last time. Uh. Okay. I'm pretty sure we'll be up after the third shield. Maybe I will actually run Soul Furnace. Maybe we need even more damage. Burn is taken. Yeah. Because burning alive literally does nothing. I mean, I could do. I could go for the full damage. I could play full damage here as well. I can probably. I can squeeze out another at least 10k, I think. That's relevant. Oh, that's fine. You kill it. Alright. If you don't yeah. grief. Yeah. Okay. I will do a ready check. My Signet Brand. I... Actually, do you run. Is Signet Brand. Uh, is Signet Brand going to be better for you, Vivi, than Augury? Um, nah, it's the same. I'm the surprise, because your Augury. I guess your Augury just didn't do much, because I only did 5.7 mil there. I felt like that's not that much. Wait, I mean, it's probably. Wait. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Actually, wait, was that. Maybe that was a G overall? Or was it on the boss? No, it's on the boss. No. Pretty sure. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, we'd have lost. Yeah, exactly. Five minutes to fight. Okay. Oh, hang on. Are, we, are you good to go, Vivian? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, wait. Yeah. yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, say one. Say one, I've been there. Ah, oh, food running out. Okay. But yeah, like we had it uh, four minutes and 50 last time. Okay, yeah, that's about the same. So I get a second last time. Okay. Let's well, go. No, yeah, yeah, you could, you could. You could lust on pull for yourself, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, you can last on pull for yourself. I'm gonna hold darkness uh, this time, so I'm gonna use it on this one, but I won't use it on the next one. Okay. 
Dude, my single brand popped off. I already have five stacks. It's insane. Will rated use combust this time. These are all big mysteries. We thought Mythic Farak was a scary dragon. This guy is harder than me. He's got more HP than Mythic Farak. He's 2 billion. Silence. Oh my god. Yeah, I can move in a moment. Just gotta, gotta not die here real quick. No. That should silence them. He'll get him. This is Rally. Affix to our left. Not even close. How much health did you have? Uh, nothing if I didn't bot. Hmm. Well, that's what it's there for. Break the shield. I'm just realizing how ridiculously overtuned this boss is. It just gets a 30 million shield multiple times in the fight. <laughs> I like that. It's good. It's how it should be. What heal? I mean, fuck me, bro. Welcome. One heal. One heal, please. Break it here. Break it here. We did it. As Avix really far, guys, really far. Yeah, good. Feel Earth's might. I got him. Maybe not. So. Lost after the next shield. Yeah, right? yeah, after you break the next shield, yeah, you can lost. I'm not going to use darkness here. Because I want to save it for the burn phase. Break the shield and we're lusting. Don't even know how close you are to dying every time. Oh, I know. He knows. Mm. Or does he? I see it.
Uh, don't we send CDs. not let that yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, nice. no CDs. Don't let the so. fucking stone bolt go. Yeah, it's need to hold, stone bolt well. Need to hold CDs. Mine will recharge because they're uh, affected by haste. This should skip. Yeah, it does. Darkness is down. Oh. I need something. I think without ice cold. Darkness will pop off. It's fine. Did you have combust? Yeah. yeah. Good. Nice. That's a good start. Ah, uh, that's not good though. Uh, I can see. Uh... Huh. I don't have to see off of this one. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I think we die there. That's where yeah, we're, we're, and there was making... twenty-five mil, twenty-five mil. I mean, yeah, time. we we died, so there's no recovering there. I could have sacked if I didn't have to divine shield the projectile. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I mean, wait. When did you divine shield? Uh, you know, we got projectile and then we faced, but we didn't skip it. Yeah. So yeah. I would have ticked from the dot, so I eventually did that. Okay. All right. Do we just want to send it again? And if we make the DPS check, we make it. If we don't, we don't. Or do yeah. wait, actually, I kind of want to finish this so we get a twenty-nine. To be honest, I do kind of want to just kill yeah, it. Yeah, and I get portal as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we should. And open those all. Yeah, we should try and finish it. One hour and five minute key. <laughs> Bane. My signet brand did pop off though. Six point three million. Very nice. Vivi's augury did even less DPS this time. How does it feel? Yeah, maybe I'm gonna try some crap. Maybe I also need fucking augury instead of um, billfire. This shit is trash. Mm. I have leech augury on my mage. Nice. That's actually insane. Yeah. I want leech augury on vaults. this guy. We're going to be playing mage next season, so. Ah, okay. oh yeah, actually, you know what? This is this is great. You're gonna enjoy this snizzle. Uh, either uh, Vivi or Wraith it has to play Org next season, so they get to we get to watch as they decide who's gonna play that. I mean, yeah. you know, I think it's we already know who's gonna play which. You know, I mean, like, he's French. He's uh, suited for it. So, yeah. Org. I mean, yeah. all right, are we ready? Wait, Vivi's changing. No, I'm going uh, single brand oh, okay. to see if it's actually better. So on this one, it did, yeah, around 5 mil every time. It's not. Well, it's hard to measure. It depends how good crit is for you versus well, main yeah. stat. Because you have main stat now instead of crit. Yeah. So if it's about this, I, th I think secondaries and main stat are pretty close together, honestly, aren't they? Uh, uh, this right now. <clears throat> You know what I actually need? Oh man, you, if a Thorncaller drops and Mythic Reclear, surely I get that, right? Because that's actually really big for Tyrannical. Yeah. Wait, are we reclaiming with alts or mates? Alts. Oh, sure. You're coming on mage, bro. You're coming on mage. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm coming. Actually, no, no, yeah, I'm, no, I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming VDH yeah, to get gear um, from plus. This main is my main for Mythic plus, anyways. Yeah, but you can get the the haste pieces, right? The crit verse pieces. Well, it's. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming probably anyways, but it's only the neck, really. My rings are good. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, you rings. just get the neck then. How do we? Uh, how do yeah, we? Su sure. How do we survive? Um, do we want to save rally as well for that? As well. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, can. Maybe. Well, I mean, honestly, just literally send everything. Yeah, I use everything. Well, that's uh, what, did yeah, you? I, I know. I know. Spell I was reflect? thinking like how do we? I think we... it's. Uh, I think it's magic, so maybe spell reflect that work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I'm just thinking like how we can. Um, try to survive better because what i can do is i can hold the darkness later the thing is i feel we really don't want a bindo using a gcd that isn't damaged during the burn right he'd have to like precast yeah yeah, yeah. um defensive stance i mean i th he, mm, i mean how it's it's a pretty big dps also now i'm not sure if we really would want that yeah probably don't yeah and i can hold the darkness for a little bit later i mean if i have a divine i can suck you as well yeah, but I feel like you don't want to be using two non-damaging GCDs during that. Yeah, I guess. Right? I mean, I'm also using non-damaging GCDs. There. Else I die. Well, yeah, but you want to use like the minimum that you possibly can, right? You don't want to press that many. Two is uh, the minimum. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if that's the minimum, that's the minimum. But you don't want to be pressing three. 
or four. All right, honestly, let's go. I'm starting the fight. I'm in. Pompa. Honestly, we've missed the point now. Do you know how we live that? Sinzel just heals us. Yeah. yeah. Also, we proc. Me dark. You mean how we procced on that 29 rise yesterday, guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm triple rated DPS. Dude, rated is literal tank DPS. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm about a million DPS. Rated is 2k <laughs> DPS. <laughs> it feels good that Zillion is raiding with us next tier. That will be content. Yeah. yeah. Especially on healer. That's extremely funny to me. He's playing disc as well. He's playing disc. Or... No, he might play H ball because so uh, that okay. Nico can be free. Uh, okay, okay. That will be extremely funny. Now all we need is Dranit to come back. Can you imagine Dranit and Zillion healing at the same time? Yeah. That would be extremely based, actually. <laughs> and Angels. Yeah, Dranit, Angels, and Zillion is our healing roster. That would be very good content, that's for sure. Dude, if I don't parry, I die here. I parried. Outplayed. That's big. Guys, you're placing them very far. It's, it's, it's fucking AIDS. Do we have to do that? <laughs> I don't know, just, Are they... just get them. Cheats. <laughs> yeah, but... Not good. Is this guy complaining yeah. about tanking? I, I... It's kind of listen. Kind of crazy. I'm a demon hunter. I'm not a, an Iridacron's creation hunter. <laughs> Rally. Could maybe uh, try and hold Rally, and use it at last ten percent as well. So. You should, yeah, I think you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll have it, actually. Yeah, I just, yeah. yeah. I guess pre-cast it right before the burn, so you don't have to waste a GCD. And then I'll use Darkness when the rally runs out. Easy. Break the shield. Fix. Yeah, it's fucking. Okay. It's in the boss. Shield breaks. My window's down. I need Holy. to rush um, him. I need to break this quickly. Break it. Okay, good. Recover. That's pretty bad. Surely he can. Gain single brand again, like 25. Uh, I, I think he will. I, I think he will. Yeah, I think he will. He will. Yeah, he should be fine. Silencing. They should follow me now. Moving. Yeah. So we lost after the next shield. I'm holding darkness. Huh. Wait, that was through sack as well. That's fucking insane. We lost not seal. Huh. Yeah, that was that was through sack. Insane. What? How did he die there? I mean, he had the debuff, you know. Um, uh, the okay. Yeah, and defense stance and uh, die by the sword, which is 30% DR. Like, he had literally fucking 80% DR or something. We are vanquished. Yeah, it was... Yeah, the dot was ticking him for 300k every second. <laughs> 
But unironically, Priest could be very good on this fight. It is, because, um, because you have DR, yeah. Well, not even that. Like, yeah, you have DR. Uh, you have DI, yeah, which is multi PS, and uh, you have uh, uh -huh. you can mind control the uh, the meme, and then the enrage is twenty seconds longer. Oh, you mean the yeah the time exploit. yeah the exploit with mind control. Yeah, I mean it's free, right? Like if you have that, it's ridiculous. Yeah, free. I mean, guess who can play priest? I mean, rated yeah, can me play priest. Too. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, look, God. Yes, ne next season, God Comp is almost certainly going to be Fire Mage, Shadow Priest, and Org. Right? That is God Comp. Yeah. How about this? You know, it's. Yeah, well, he's playing Org now. Yeah. So it's going to be uh, rated Mage, Vivi, Shadow Priest, and then Org Bindo. <laughs> That's the, introducing yeah. our new player, Org Bindo. I'm not playing Mage. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not playing Mage, then you have to play Org. Boom. And well, a Bindo plays maybe Mage. Maybe someone else. Swaps to a class they don't want to play this time. <laughs> Alright, ready, Shake. Let's go. Arch, I need to eat food. Hang on. I'm feasting. Don't you guys just love Tyrannical? No, I'm not ready. Wait. I don't know about you, but I love Tyrannical. I love I love it. the pleading. Do you like plus... We're, we're 41 minutes over the timer. How do we... How do we feel about that? <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. Be I'm going in. Deplete. The first two are free, and then uh, then cancer. Oh yeah. Uh, third boss is very painful. But I think third boss. I think all we need to do is just um, hold our invisibility for phase three, and then I think it's fine. Holy. I didn't get it at all. Hmm. He grad. He was limit testing. He was maining mage. Yeah. Mage main rated. Augmentation evoker main rated. Break the shield. Snakes. Uh, break it quickly, yes. Chuj is gone with it. Yeah, it needs to be broken very quickly or we are definitely dead. Break mm -hmm. it. Holy shit, break it now. Okay, we're good. I think I need to not waste globals there, passing my shield. Hmm. But I might also die, I'm not sure. Sounds like a move. I'll grit them, you can go behind the binder. There you go. Boom. Enjoy. Those will get silenced. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to bend no again. We rally for this. Good luck. Get yeah, affix. Fix. He lived. Huge. There's Affix on boss. Have fun with the shields. I'm sorry. Uh, we don't sell. We it, no, 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 no. We we can still play because we can re we we can res him before the burn. That's what's kind of. Uh, important. yeah. Well, not anymore. Well, not anymore, yeah. I die. Oh, I die first. Boom. Oh, <laughs> I like it. That animation he does is so goofy. He just punched you. Like, just... Yeah, I mean, it's the same one as uh, Farouk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
And so the heroes fall. What do you think the boss thinks when we just show up again? He just kills us and we just come back. Mm. Hundred K overkill. Vivi got meleeed for one point two million. Hmm. Uh, last try or like? Yeah, last try. I mean, it's getting a little bit late, so I would say that if we, I'd almost say we should just go do the black rock instead, because if we can't get this down, then I think there's not much point in just doing it again and just sending it. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Also, we have John Rally six fight anyways. I mean, we don't is use this it first. A, uh, is this a gear diff? Here? No, this is a skill diff, because we'll do this on 31. Oh. Yeah. This fucking org. Yeah. Well, that is true. I mean, on Tyrannical, it is a little bit of an org diff. A little bit. If you can fucking suffer and just fucking live everything. Yeah. I will admit it is a slight org diff. Uh, slight. Yeah. And that's why Abindo is making his new character, Org Bindo, just for this. <laughs> well, I mean, look, one of you boys is going to have to play Org next season. If we want to play TGP qualifiers, someone's going to have to play Org. <laughs> we, we have three candidates for who's playing Org. <laughs> Wait, three? I'm pretty sure it's five, yeah. right? You know, well, no, I mean, Snizzle look. Open those heal. Fast. No, I mean, heal. Snizzle is Snizzle healer. He, he just heals. That's what he does. He heals. He summons the little I mean, the, the crane. That's his purpose. Yeah. Summons the bird. All right, okay, I'm going. Actually, I'll do a rage check first, just in case someone's AFK. I can't use that I'm not there. You're AFK. Food. Daily reminder that mage is too hard. Far too hard. Okay, I'm going. And honestly, we should subject the uh, rated to my mage experience, which is having Havoc and Warrior in the group. <laughs> instead of <laughs> your red flag spamming <laughs> sack on you. Every mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine having to solo the Apex, because no reds. Yeah, because no to yeah. the Apex. To the Apex. Apex. It went off. Right, That's fucked. Mm. Ow. My haste. It's over. It does not feel good to have zero haste. Surely we kill it this time, right, guys? My shifting power. Oh dear. Would you say that it's over now that you've cancelled your shifting power? Yeah, it, it's completely over. <laughs> Kill it quickly, or we're gonna die. We got. Okay, it has to die before next pulse, or I think we're fucked. Go, 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 We did it. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, could you outrange boss there? Uh, wait, me? What? Me? I need to go further. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I can go further. Yeah. Yeah. I can move in a moment. Hang on. Okay. No, it's just during uh, the research. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I was uh, mostly talking to the DPS in that situation. Is rally. Good luck, boys. I can't see. Dude, that's so fucking close. Yeah, the dot there is very nasty. It, it was actually, yeah. Uh, what's really annoying, right, is it the only person who can't avoid it is a Bindo. So that's basically the worst possible yeah. person to go on. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. I mean, it's the same if it's on any of us twice in a row. 
Yeah, because you can't double divine shield or double meld. It also worth it. Yet. I guess if it goes on rated, he can probably do it. Wait, what? Can't he? Can't you invis it every time? What is not? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Break shield now. Oh my god! Break it, please. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Easy. Easy. There's two affixes. Double affix. Rip. I'll move in a moment. Very okay, now. I'll grip them behind the boss. Enjoy. Silence will go off. They won't cast. Did. I didn't parry six times in a row. That's actually insane. There's no ex there's no uh, group wide here. To say. Don't die. Okay, and then third shield. Here we go. The boss is in a try and go as far as possible. It's the unusual spot here. Okay, we lost. I will turn it. I'm just getting them under control that I'm moving. There we know. Sounds. Now don't send anything big, make sure we have full CDs. This is not going to get skipped. We're going to have to play this. There's double affix, by the way, guys. Double affix. Fuck, I need to we need to skip. We need to skip shield, guys. We need to skip shield. If this goes off, we would run out of time. Should be good. One. Yeah, we are good. Yeah. Uh, rally now. I and then I'll... Uh, I need something I'll darkness when it runs out. And darkness now. I think we have it. Five middle, two middle, one middle. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Okay, okay, it's doable, it's doable. <laughs> Plus let's 55 see. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Run is slightly better than Audrey, <laughs> Holy guess. shit. Okay, what do we get off that? We got on a towel. Oh, that sucks. That's a very uninteresting key to get. I guess it's upgradable. Okay, we have a decision. What do we feel like doing? Running the fallback or trying the black rook? Might as well do this again, right? Very nice. Yeah, I guess we might as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we just do this again. Let's do it. I should check what other mages are running, like if they're doing anything different on this boss. Like in terms of uh, trinkets and talents. But... Yeah. I mean, it would just be the greediest possible setup, I imagine. The greed. Well, I think they're running Augury and yeah. probably like Pips or something. Yeah, makes sense. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, man.
No time on the key, honestly. Yeah, we're fucking washed, dude. That was an hour and 30 Mythic Plus key. Jesus. The boss is hard. All right, I have reset it. I'm going back in. I'll play Signet Brand the entire way, I think. Just get more damage, might as well. Surely I don't die to bolstering, right? That wouldn't happen. The infinite dragon flight. And we should actually wait for pot as well, because we, we this the time will be very tight. It's two minutes for me. I guess pre-pot isn't really that relevant. In reasons are, but I mean, yeah, you can just pre-pot for you know, like fifteen seconds of the potion. Yeah, I guess if we don't, if we run out of time because of that, then uh, we're probably beyond hope. Get in here, Vivi. Join us. Yep. Uh, make sure everyone's on the right build, by the way, guys. Check your builds. Check your builds. I'm Arcane. Okay, Arcane Mage. I mean, that's good. You can just have the three-minute Giga Burst for 10%. Or oh, for the last 5% yeah, Actually base. And just pour it out. Alright. Ready check. Let's do this. Check consumables, guys. Make sure they are gonna last the whole run. It's a you know it's a long dungeon. I can run without shockwave for two percent damage. I think you should do that. We we shouldn't need it. Do it. Do it. More DPS. Whoa. What was that? Oh wait, I'm still on the raid boat. Rally for slight single target. Hmm. Rally is pretty good, to be honest. I'm not sure we want to drop that. Well, let's keep Rally, because I think it will, that's potentially going to be good on third boss and on the last boss. Just for living a little bit better. And yeah, we've, we, we've really the last two. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can swap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't need rally. Mm. Rally on second boss could be relevant, but it shouldn't be right as long as we do it correctly. Yeah, you you can. Yeah, you can do that. I think. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go. Yep. Right check. I'll do another check, and then we send it. I will use my key. I will deplete my key for this. Pull ten. Here we go. It's time. All right, let's go. Easy 30 tyrannical. How hard can it be? Man, if we can time the 30, it's huge, because then we get, oh, yeah, we get a 30 incorporeal sanguine. I guess it's not so huge. The infinite dragon flight has already infiltrated the time ways. Right, let's see if we can not die here. If we can get this pull fully clean, that's very good news for us. Okay, we're good. Go. Silencing. Stopping. Silencing again. It's done. Holy shit. I should be okay if it dies within like five seconds. That's probably not going to happen, is it? 
I'm running away. Kiting these. They die, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I, I can't tank them right now. Okay, yeah, Clips. we're good. Alright, that went pretty well. Okay, pulling. Three. Oh, wait, everyone's in, right? Three, two, one. Here we go. And that was a better start than last time. Soak. I'll always drop my pool in a pool. And that should give us a bit of extra wiggle room. You will not get past me. Yeah, get the affix. Good. Comes the next leap. Get in the soak. I'll move boss for pulls off the soak. Pools, then it's the tank thing. Is Affix in the sand? You will not get past me. Your is mine. That's a bit spicy. Leap coming up. Here it is. Real from the of time. Ooh, leap. I was told. Orba. I'll drop a pool far back. Don't cut each other off here. Dude, my leap took me through the moss. It's crazy. Time itself cannot I'll drop one back. You can cut me off, it's fine. I can just go through. It's fine. This leap is going to be claustrophobic. We kind of want to kill now if we can before this. We'll try and just kill. And we got it. Nice. Yo, that was actually a lot better, by the way, guys. We are a minute ahead of our previous one. Let's fucking go. That's really good. Let's go. Very nice. Okay, we're pulling big guy alone, yes? And then we'll pull him in. Big guy, here he comes. Do not pull the pack. I'm pulling it back. When it's at around 15 mil, I'll chain. Look at the pack. Don't pull it yet. Uh, Affix went off. Okay, I need to wait till that's gone. I'm waiting for Affix to go away, then we'll go. Kick volley. Watch the temporal detonation. Going now. And get rid of the big guy. Silencing now. Focus the big guy here. It's 
silencing again. Volley's kicked. Should die now. Whoa. Ouchie. Leech. All right, dog. Giga, focus on dog here. Silencing casters, and here comes Bloom. Next Bloom might be a little bit spooky for me. Help me a bit here. Stopping. And killing the anomaly now. Kill all of these. We can do this better. We can do the big guy first this time. Epic's behind. I'm pulling him over to us, guys. Because the dog patrols. So I'm pulling this over here. I'll go to the edge and we'll just do the leech, I guess, too. Silencing leeches. I really try to hard focus this down, guys. Ideally, these leeches don't die before he does a volley. Or a chrono burst, rather. Okay, kill it after the next Chrono Burst, if we can. Okay, kill it before the next Chrono Burst. Should be good. Watch the dog. Okay, good. I'm pulling the dog now. We're going to do a bit of a bit of a run with this guy. I'm gonna pick up all the rest of this stuff. Have behind. Yeah, go. So we'll do this stuff. I'm gonna oh, watch frontal. Watch frontal. Watch frontal. And I'm gonna start moving over now. Bloom. Dog dies, and we just go do the rest of this shit. Gripping, stunning. Grip. Blast this stuff. Silencing these. Watch the thingies. We need to pull everything else here. Even the aspect of time That's a little bit not good. Can we pull this on boss? I think we can, honestly. Yeah, we could. Yeah. And I, I need to do a... Mm, this is a, it's a little bit scary for me, honestly, at the start. Uh, if you sack me on pull, it's fine, actually. Hang on. I'm going to uh, silence these and just... Uh, okay. Uh, sack now. Let's go. I'll grip them on boss. They're on boss now. I have a silence, uh, so you can just cleave. You can just cleave. Watching orbs. I 
Topics. It's Vivi Snizzle. How, um, what the kill time on Eredochrome was there, Vivi, by any chance? Or anyone? It's a uh, rated a window. I'm just kind of thinking how much time we need for end boss. I was. Wait, let me check. Wait, only? It says 6 mid 30, but I think okay. it's longer than that. It just, I just want to. I want to know if we need to pull trash when we get there. Because I think we might end up pulling some trash onto the boss. Like we did on the Fortified, right? For the plus plus. Yeah. That's fine for me. I'll have full CDs at the start. It's Vivia Bindo. In fact, we'll almost certainly do that. Even though it's bolstering, it's it's only like four mobs, right? So it's not that bad. Uh, Affix on boss. Good luck. It's a uh, rated snizzle. Sands of time. Orbs. Double affix at the same time. It's rated a window. Good. Sands of time, I call upon you. Um. What do you mean by that? Well, yeah, I can't stand the CDs because otherwise I can't stop building for like one minute. Vivi. Yeah. Orbs. Yo, bro, I'm fucking cranking. It's rated snizzle. I am literally mage DPS right now, and it feels good. Okay, let's go. Doing RP. Changing builds if you need to, guys. Ch uh, changing trinkets as well, remember, if you need to do that as well. Yeah. Yeah, we lost a lot of time there, I'm not going to lie. We were a minute slower. Um, getting through that than previously. It was a little little sloppy. It's still fine though, I think. Three, two, one, go. You shall not interfere with our infinite door. Ray, oh, I fucking just die, just die, just die, just die. It's fine. Yeah. Just die, 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 die. I'm dying. Make a red extra Yeah, no, no, just, just go, just go through. I'm getting checkpoint. I'm getting checkpoint. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. Stayed in. If we deplete by five seconds, that is extremely fucking funny, no, by the way. No, if we deplete by five seconds, I am going to actually make fun of you for this for the rest of the time. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> I don't and think it's a time issue. You it's time are time. good. You're good to go. Okay. We're in. We do singles here. Full single target on dragon, guys. Fuck the chunks, no one cares. There's a thing there.
I think the longer the chunks stay alive, the better, actually, because it helps Snizzle heal and helps me live as well. Nope. It does. Oh, fuck. I know this spell. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Yeah, it's fine. There's no way we, we can just... do that on the last boss. We just have to make the, make it work. Affix. Be careful. We've gone back before the aspects were even the aspects. We have to find The proto aspects. If we can get a good kill here, this is good. Okay, so where are we lusting here? Um, let's see. We, we've got lust up in three minutes. I think it's probably going to be phase three, to be honest. Uh, later. It's later. Oh, okay. But then it's phase three. We're right. lusting phase three then. Epics. The problem is, if we... Hmm, I'm not sure we're going to have lust for when we want it on Eridicron, by the way. The one chunk didn't aggro. That's crazy. The chunk is rebelling. Remember, you can pot right at the start of this fight, guys. This is a re retail well. Tell the difference. The it's kind of hard looking at it, to be honest. If you're not familiar. All right, we are pulling immediately. Remember, you can pot at the start. I know. You can feed it to me immediately. Uh, you missed I me. I went on you. It did nothing. Watching frontal. It's on the window. You can feed it immediately to me. Uh, I'll just move out of the shit and you can run on me. Easy. In um, in phase three, you can just give it. Uh, don't hold it. You can just give it to me immediately. But we will have to bounce more. But that's probably fine. Uh, affix, by the way, affix, affix. It's double affix. We need both of these to get picked. Okay. Uh, save invises and melds for phase three, guys. We are saving for phase three as well. You make sure you have one for phase three. Give it to me immediately. Yeah. Here's phase. I have his turn. Yeah, you should have it. I yeah, you'll have it. You'll have it. Yeah, you'll have it. Back up. Should be fine. Oh my god. I'll drop uh, a darkness for the next one. I was just at the fucking move. The fucking tornado. Double affix, guys. Double affixes. There's another affix at the back. It's unrated. That's... You give it to me immediately. Give it to me. Give it to me. It's fine. All right. The sizzle we have to swap halfway through. Uh, hang on. I'm going to move in. I'm dropping a darkness. Oh, you give me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Have uh, it. Yeah, have it, have it, have it. Yeah, I have to. Uh, bounce it back to me now. Give it to me. Give it to me. Just walk over. I won't move. Come on, I'll move. Okay. Yeah, good. And we have to do one more. 
If it's me, I'm fucking over. It's on Snizzle. Can you hold it, Sizzle? Or do you need to bounce? Uh, no, no, no. Bubble myself. I'm taking it off you now. Uh, fucking get to me. Holy shit, I cheated to it. That's rough. That was a bit spicy. I'm fine. Yep. And we need to push phase. Oh, one went off. That's a bit spooky. This one, just give it to me, and we should be skipping the next one. Give it to me. I can it. hold it for a bit. Okay. Okay. Wait, we just skip. Four. Them, okay, so we just skip. Because it will. We'll skip the storm. Just push. Okay. Good. All right. When they're stacked, we lost affix. Yep. Lust. And then this is invis on the shit. Oh, of course. Okay. Uh, can you hold? Uh, yeah. yeah, you can You can give it to me if you're under pressure. It's fine. So we're bouncing. Uh, Snizzle bounces off me in a moment. In about five, uh, three seconds. About three seconds. Bounce me now. I'm not going to move. I'll just stand still. Standing still. If you need to, you can give it back immediately. Uh, yeah, uh, say when? Are you good? I take it? I mean, yeah, yeah. Go on, when go do you go. need it? Well, I mean, uh, you can give it to me whenever. It's fine. Uh, swap now. Bounce me now. You can give it back to me immediately if you need to. Uh, in fact, do so. Uh, uh, oh, boy. Apex. Uh, I, I, I'm taking it off you. I'm taking it off you. Uh, the, oh no, yeah. we need to see her. We need to see her. Uh, we're dead, aren't we? Yeah. And that one as well. We have CS. No, nah, I'm, go I'm going insane. That's the problem. You guys are dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what happened here? Uh, Affix went off. Fucking Affix! Yeah, the Affix went off. Yeah, okay. Make a new uh make a new build template, Vivi, that has the fucking yeah, I, mean, I was doing the affix there anyways. I I did two of them. I just killed them. Uh, it's over, it's over, it's, it's over. Two uh flash of light. I mean there was one here and one there. <coughs> and from my yeah, position I mean, I, here I didn't see this one because Do you have, like, do you have the weak one. do you have the weak aura? No. Bro but oh. I didn't see it behind the, the wing of the other fucking ad. Uh do you wanna go do black rook? This is obviously dead. Dead key. Ah. Uh, I need to go to sleep, to be honest. Oh, dude, that's, that's so fucking yeah. tragic. That's unfortunate. Make a fucking build template that has cleanse on it, though. And get the afflicted weak. Oh, I mean, I was doing the fix anyways. Yeah. Uh, so, share yeah. the weak in uh, the plus channel. Dude, I'm absolutely pumping, by the way. Holy shit. Rated is only 8k DPS more than me. That's insane. Yeah, having to dispel mid combust is like zero DPS. Would you? Wasting GCDs. I like that he's blaming. He, he's blaming doing tank DPS on having to press the spell. That's actually the ultimate DPS no, it's POV. Really fucking bad. That's actually. It is really bad. Okay, wait, hang on. Do you have time to finish this key then? Because uh, we can just get a twenty-nine. If you have time to finish it, if you're too tired, it's fine. But I don't really pour that out. Oh, okay. Well then, fuck it. We'll just do with this on twenty-nine and upgrade it. I guess easy. That's fine. Yeah, the uh, the afflicted weak aura. There you go. Enjoy. Yeah, I have it. I have it. Uh, so ba basically, since we died there to the affix, basically, that's what happened. We died to that. Yeah, I mean, I'm half healing. Yeah, okay. I, I can't even heal myself. Man. Yeah, I think two went off on that one, which was a bit not good. I think it's one. To be no, honest. I think it was. I think one, no, went, one, one went off twice. twice. Yeah, it happened twice. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty rough. Ah, it's very timeable though. We still have one more, right? We have, I think Snizzle has it as well. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So we can still, we can just do that. We, what we can do tomorrow is maybe go 29 into 30, maybe, and do it like that. Could be good. But yeah, would we have time though? That's the question. We were 21 seconds ahead. That boss I was... I think it was kind of dead on time off. Um, was it? Well, how much did we have left? It was like 10, 10 minutes? We had ten minutes, but we need we need six thirty seven minutes for a Riddicron. 
So if we pull trash onto well, the last uh, boss, then it's fine, the, no? Like, the last boss was uh, 12% HP, I guess. Uh, then in this and then trash, which is like easily two minutes. Yeah, but we I guess could, it was very close. It was very close, but we could save time just by pulling it onto boss. We wait for the spins, then just pull boss. And we save like 20 seconds there, at least, I think. Yeah. Because I can live it. Like, I'll live the bolstering. It's fine. I'll yeah. Pull CDs. Man, that boss is so long. It's 4 minutes and 50 seconds, and it wasn't even dead yet. I mean, yeah, we killed a Riddle Crawl in 6.30. 6 minutes 30. That's honestly free, no? I think time's fine. Yeah. I mean, time can be better because we lost a minute on the boss 2 trash as well. Wait, oh, okay, oh my god. Holy shit. Rated is exposed as fuck. Do you know what he died Wait, to? You, 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 he died to the random swirlies that get fired out from the middle. Like, <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Errant time. Manifested time ways. It's like this. Oh, you mean there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of them, I. Yeah. Fucking costing SKB. Oh. Uh, didn't have blink anymore. Okay, so... Yeah, you we have to be careful of the intervals, guys. An interval killed Snizzle because it just exploded, but... We can't, we won't necessarily be able to kick those every time. You have to dodge them. They will just be going off. And then, because Snizzle died, Vivi died, Tainted Sands, then Nabindo died, probably because Snizzle wasn't back yet. And then Rated died to... Just died to Chrono Burst. He just got destroyed. And then Vivi also died to Chrono Burst. He probably died to Corrupting Rage. Hmm. Corrupting Rage. Okay. Uh, are you raiding tomorrow, Snizzle? Do you have raid tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, so we raid, we go off to Snizzle raid. Easy. Easy. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow we do... I re I kind of want to get that. I think the plan tomorrow will be 29 fall into 30 fall into 30 black crook. Or if we're feeling really fresh immediately, we just go 30 black crook. I... This is going to sound like insane cope. Play Fury here and swap off with this boss. Uh, do you think that's better? What does the most damage? What's the highest DPS? One DPS less for 30 seconds on the ads uh, before the last boss. Um, I mean, that's not great. And I, I think... I think that... I think that boss was fine. Um, again, I... Uh, the only reason we died there is because of Affix, I think. Pretty much. That's it. If Affix... Do we live there, right, Sizzle? If Affix doesn't go off, it's fine? I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. We also got really unlucky. Um, because the corrosion went on you, Abindo, right? If it had gone on anyone else, they just meld and it just, or Divine Shield or whatever, just goes away. Okay. So there is that. I can't really check what they're running on Radar.io, since it's the items they went... Went in with and they like, changed, maybe. Went at the yeah. start, yeah. Man. Dude, maybe I should play Signet Brand on uh, on every dungeon ever. Holy shit. This is pretty good. I'm doing like 150k single target. <laughs> Doesn't Rare use like Signet Olgi or some shit? Uh, I think on Tyrannical he does, yeah. Almost certainly. Yeah. Like the when the, with the, the yeah nerf does that too, dude. Honestly, next time I'm running the base build, I don't give a fuck. I'm actually making I'm making a new config right now. Let's go. I feel very emboldened right now by uh, my tank DPS. My only goal is to do more DPS than rated on a single target. Yeah, number go. Why can't I find the stupid icon? This one will do, I guess. 
this time. I honestly don't know what else to do there. Like I'm wasting so many globals just pressing defensives over and over. Like my uh, shield. I mean, as usual, it's yeah, it's better. It's, than it's VOD review. Dying. I mean, it's VOD review angle, right? Like someone else's VOD, <laughs> pretty much. I guess. <laughs> someone else's VOD. Let's go. Oh, look at this build. Soul Furnace and Down in Flames. Let's go. Can I get even more damage? Maybe I don't need Silent Sigil. Maybe I don't need hmm. Grip. Maybe I take Soulmonger. Hmm. Maybe I take Soul Carver. Holy shit. Insane ability. No one uses that, I think. Yeah, nobody uses that. You played that last season. Yeah, you did last season, but not anymore. Last season, you played. I feel like the brand so... stuff, right? You had Giga brand uptime, so I guess it did a lot of damage. It's the Legion artifact talent. Yeah. Soul Carver. Ability or whatever. Yep. <sighs> Maybe I take Last Resort and do ZDPS. Man, Signet Brand, it, that's actually crazy. Signet Brand was like 15k DPS increase for me. Huh. Pretty good. Hmm. Okay, I'll just check tomorrow. Like some vaults of yeah. uh, Tyrannical Vod Fall. review. Sure. <laughs> Vod review. <laughs> but yeah, honestly. Tyrannical like... without Alg feels like complete yeah. pain. To be honest. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, th this I is. Mean, the same issue. As I mean, DHL. like, I, it's not even a meme. There is a reason why everyone doing, like, 30s, 31s, 32s, especially on Tyrannical, you will notice something about their comp. It's either the unhinged, like, triple rogue shit that people do, or it's org. Like, there's, yeah. And, and realistically, priest, too. Because bear in mind, not having priest is 5% less health, which is actually very yeah. significant, right? For all of the one shots. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. That is a meme. It is what it is. Okay, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> See ya. All right, good night. All right, good night, yep. Well, what's this? What are these pings in Big Plunder as well? How are the keys on uh, PT on, by the way, baby? I mean, I did one, which was... Uh... Algothon? I think. Algothon Academy. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Apparently that's a bit of a fun one. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Mm. The trash in the beginning almost won. It's, it hurts a lot. Yeah. The insects, you know, they, they blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm honestly looking forward to it. I think it'll be pretty interesting to see the uh, Season 1 dungeons. I think Azure Vault is gonna be a bit low energy, because you can't do the skip anymore. Feels bad. Yeah. But it is what it is, I guess. I said the time is the tightest fox we've I guess. About, I guess no one is going uh, yeah. right on the uh, HOI because you have the checkpoint now. Uh, I mean, going left was better anyway, wasn't it? No. Or well, right? yeah, but sometimes you know you'd kill like one pack at the end to unlock the yeah the shortcut. But I mean, d didn't we always go left for the cheat death and just the better trash efficiency anyway? Focus what we did. Yeah. And then we did the frog room. I s oh man, I missed I miss halls. Halls is gonna be so good now, right? Cause they fixed the end boss too. Oh my god, this dungeon is gonna be so sick. Holy shit. Yeah, because they fixed the end boss and they made it so the gauntlet is less annoying as well, right? Because they made it less RNG on them. The pattern, right? Like of the the you know the shit that yeah. knocks you. This dungeon's gonna be so good. I think that the thing is, I think there are gonna be way less one shots, Eddie. Right? Like I think the the time. I think the one shot stuff is more of like a boss design thing or like a dungeon design thing rather than a necessarily. Well, obviously it's a little bit of a tuning thing, but it's also just boss design. I feel like there's way less really big hits, at least in the the dragonflight ones that I did. 
like, Alderman, Naltharis, Brackenhide, there's way less, like, oh, yeah, you're going to get one shot by this, like, massive AoE. It's way more there's ticking damage. There's way more dots and stuff and, like, little hits that go off. Um, rather than anything else. I guess Naltharis Forge Mask is a bit one-shotty, but it's three hits, isn't it? Right? And Magma Tusk is like a big yeah. dot. As well. I guess Chargath does a lot of damage with the spears, but you just... You're not that bad, is it? Man, look up, you know, pull one on Naltharis. Or pull four. Every mob up to Chargath. Yeah, I mean, That's, uh... You can't do that anymore. No, yeah, yeah, because they... Well... To be honest, I feel like VDH can maybe tank it. To be honest, maybe. Full CDs. Meta, sigils. Can you tank that? Maybe. And they're gonna live a long time, right? Mm. As well. Yeah, it's only it's five it's seconds of 50% damage mod. Yeah, and it's only once per chain. Like one person can use the chain. Well, well, yeah, I read that. That to me is really interesting because what that says is that you're almost going to like gather up a bunch of mobs chain them nuke them and then actually just move them to the next chain right and just do it again yeah and then you pick up yeah. more pull them together chain everything kill them and then you so what i would what i would imagine on pull four right you would do you would pull stuff out to the first chain yeah nuke it move it into the next chain pull more chain it there again the first set will die probably on that chain and then you just repeat that process on the final chain right before Chargath. So it probably turns into like a triple chain pull where you do one chain, move everything, second chain, move everything, third chain, and kill boss. Just go pull it onto boss, I guess. Yeah. Because I do feel like VDH can live some of these pulls. Um, it's tanky enough to do it. Especially if you play like the really tanky build. But, yeah. We'll see. Alderman. Will we be able to defeat Bromark28? What do you think? Hmm. Snake28. I, mean, I think it's still going to be the hardest dungeon. Yeah, it almost certainly Unless will be. one of the season ones is fucked up. Yeah. But... I think just the five boss dungeons are always difficult. Unless, unless the time is really lenient like Waycrest. Because Waycrest has five bosses, but I guess the bosses aren't really that hard, except for the tree. And the timer is very relaxed on that one. Whereas Alderman bosses are kind of hard, right? Like, Bromac is hard. Yeah. Talondras yeah, yeah. is hard. I guess Emberon's not that hard, but it's not free, is it? It's not an easy boss. <laughs> surely they fixed the boss. Yeah, sh right? surely <laughs> they fixed it, right? Yeah. And then Crone Lord Deus, I think, is moderately difficult. You can definitely die to that, right? It's a lot of damage on, on that guy. I mean, honestly, on especially Alderman, not having a 20-second master spell is... Uh, oh, that's true, yeah. Something. Ooh, yeah, that makes Emberon really hard, actually, doesn't it? The dot is going to be pain. Yeah. yeah. I guess you have Dwarf there, right? You can, uh, like, do, uh... Well, we're going to have Shadow Priest, so you can master spell one set and then Dwarf the second set, and that will make it... It will do something. And then I guess healer can single target a spell, the squishiest person. If you need I to think do it again. Brackenhide might turn into the uh, level up dungeon, because they nerfed it a lot. Yeah, they did like nerf it's... it a lot, yeah. They removed a lot of the cast and the hasty buffs. I guess they didn't want it to be so reliant on disease to spell, right? Because it was like, if you couldn't... Because we had the god yeah. comp, right? So we could deal with disease pretty well. But imagine if you can't dispel disease for some reason. Or like you don't have an extra disease to spell. It's fucked up then. It's absolutely putrid. Yeah, they also, like, giga nerfed. They giga nerfed first boss, didn't they? As well. It's, like, quite heavily nerfed. They didn't nerf end boss, though. So that's still going to be fucked up. I'm kind of surprised about that. They didn't nerf the totem. They need to bring back Freehold.
Any dungeon pool that doesn't have freehold in it is dog shit. Man, VDH is actually so overpowered, though, on a lot of these keys. Because think about the Alderman first pool, right? Except you never have to worry about casters because they're just silenced. That's actually insane. It's, it's so broken. Oh my god. What an insanely overpowered build. Same with all the dwarves, right? Like Stonebolt. Like Stonebolt just doesn't do anything anymore because of VDH. Nice. Right, well, I guess I'm out of here as well. Ah, big. Alright, I'll see you later. We time the 30 tomorrow, yep. surely. Surely we do not die to the slime again. We died to the slime, Vivi. Mm. The slime won. Yep. Surely we wouldn't die to it again tomorrow. That would not happen. And we kind of died to a screaming ghost. That's much. true. Yeah, yeah. A ghost just screamed at us and we... Snizzle couldn't heal us and we died. Unlucky. Oh, I'm out of here. All right, boom. That's it, guys. I'm going to raid Snab. He's doing Sarah CM progression. Oldham the Defiler. Uh, when is Noma gone? Noma is tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, we got Noma tomorrow, guys. More Guild Wars 2 stuff tomorrow. More Noma tomorrow. More keys tomorrow. It's going to be great. Okay, here comes the raid. Raid and Snab. The Goose. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. I am out.